Now would be the perfect opportunity, man, to bring Whale Milker 3000 back. I haven't, like, properly played this account in, oh, God, I, I swear it's got to be, like, eight or nine months, like, legit, man, maybe even a little bit longer than that. I think the last time I properly played this account uh, was kind of around, like, the Abyss of Legends release. Um, but today, I thought with Mutant Treasure Island and the current event combination, man, it's just a ridiculous time in Marvel Contest of Champions. Like, we've got 26 objectives that we can complete, and most of them, I think, are going to be done. Well, not most of them, but a good portion. We can just get done by doing, like, uncollected, uh, and then we can jump into me and Treasure Island. So it's uh, it's going to be a, a pretty fun time, man. I'm looking forward to it. And yeah, the rewards are just ridiculous. So uh, we got the champion, we got Black Widow, Clairvoyant, She-Hulk, Sabretooth, but also I was checking the roster, man, and one champion that I did pull... Uh, uh, as well is Magneto. So Magneto, I want to be probably my second rank five champion. And between him and Clairvoyant, man, oh, I think we're gonna be having a good time on the free to play account. Um, but yeah, it's ridiculous. I was looking at the like tier list yesterday, and I was thinking, you know, the game's got so many ridiculous characters in now <laughs> for progression. <laughs> that most crystals do have about a 50% chance to give you somebody that's like, oh, wow, that character's going to do a lot of work. But hopefully everybody's doing well today, man. Chat is going mad today, boys. Hopefully you're all doing well. Was that just a, a notification about pre-fight abilities? I think it was there. Okay, I think we'll start with a bit of champion gameplay here today, boys. Because, uh, yeah, champion was uh, one of our, our staple characters. Um... For a lot of initial free-to-play progression and farming, he's our first six-star champion. Got us through uh, quite a few uncollected events, so he's always been a bit of a bit of a beast. He's just quite tanky and uh, gets the job done eventually. I remember using him for that Mysterio boss <laughs> for the Spider-Man um, event back in the day. God, that feels like ages. But today he's gonna he's gonna easily take down Apocalypse Lance. 1v1 that man. It's going straight in the bin. Let's hope I've got the uh, the free-to-play skills that I used to have. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we do, man. But, dude, I'm so excited to rinse Mutant Treasure Island. We're going to get so much stuff. And I think we're going to do, like, a massive crystal opening uh, either tomorrow or Sunday. I think probably Sunday. If we have, like, two days of farming, just clean up the... Um, uh, events this month and then on Sunday do like a really really big crystal opening then that could be quite fun because yeah we should be able to get um gosh a few more five star champions probably about four to six more five star champions of all the shards of mutant treasure island plus on top of that as well uh we'll be able to form another six star champion because there's like about five thousand shards in there as well I think we're on about 7,000 at the moment. So, yeah, it should be good, man. It should be very, very good. Uh, your free-to-play live streams really help me progress. I've been in Act 5 now. Act 6, Crossbones, and Sentinel, Sentinel remain. Oh, dude, best of luck. Again, if you've got, like, a, a bleed immune character, you want to do it now because it's getting changed. But if you've got a strong poison immune or a double immunity, then it's fine because they're changing it from biohazard to a 30-second poison node, which overall... Um, I think is actually a better change in the longer term for progressing players the more I think about it because you need a really strong poison immune for Mr. Sinister anyway so now it allows people who are focusing on Axis completion just to go for those like cosmic and tech crystals because uh, most of the solutions for Mr. Sinister are in those and if you can get like a good poison immune like Hyperion or Medusa or Captain Marvel then they'll serve you for both of the fights so Short term, it's a bit more annoying if you uh, don't have a poison immune. Longer term, I think it'll be good for people developing their rosters. Because then they only need uh, one champion instead of two, potentially. But yeah, it's going to be a bit of an annoying transition. But overall, I think it opens up more options. So it's uh, it's not the worst change in the world. Yo, Joe, congratulations on getting Cavalier yesterday evening, dude. Massive W there, champ. I need to do an... Um, uh, updated guide that I'll probably release uh, early next week for getting Cavalier uh, with all of the options that are going to be available but if you have Nick Fury getting Cavalier is going to be so much easier like ridiculously easy now it's going to make that crossbones fight so you can just bring in like anybody <laughs> so that's going to be quite a nice change uh Max I'm doing very well today how about yourself dude it's got a six star Doctor Doom rub it in Amit but huge congratulations there sir
the resources to rank up my gilly uh 2099 to rank three and i've quake for sentinel okay fair play some uh some good options for both of them for sure like guillotine 2099 she can be a little bit flimsy at rank three she's definitely worth the um uh the rank four at least in my opinion but uh yeah it's totally up to you dude also, one character that we did get, I don't know if you guys remember, I think it was like um, a couple of months ago, we had that maintenance. Um, maintenance, yeah, when it, the contest was like always going down, and then they sent out a pretty beefy compensation package. On the free-to-play account, we've got Warlock. I could use Warlock to like cheese everything. I think he's only like five-star rank one at the moment. But that's like variant three in the bag, variant two in the bag. I might go for it, but always on the free-to-play account. I like to play characters that are a little bit different to what I usually play on the main account. So I'm a bit hesitant to, but worst case scenario, man, if we get roadblocked, we do have um, uh, him maybe to get us out of a tight spot. But I took up Mysterio on the free-to-play. He's rank four. He's not like fully leveled up. Clairvoyant's rank five as well. She's not fully leveled up. One of the <laughs> reasons I'm so excited about Mutant Treasure Island, I, I really want to get the gold, man. <laughs> Like, the gold was something that I always struggled with on the free-to-play account. Because uh, I hate farming arena lands, as, as many of you know. I bitch and moan way too much about arena. So I was always just lacking gold. But Mutant Treasure Island, I think... How much gold does it have? It has, I think, at least like 1.6 million. Maybe a bit more. My, my main account's so loaded from uh, the gifting crystals that I don't need to worry about those paths. But... There's like a 600,000 path on the highest difficulty. I'm looking forward to that, man. Because, yeah, that was, that was like one of the reasons I got a bit like burned out playing the free-to-play account in the past. Is because I was always lacking gold. <laughs> I could just never get enough gold to rank up the champions. That's why I've got so many like half-leveled up characters. Let's go. The champion is pretty much the symbol of uh, Whale Milk of 3000 at this point. I'm also looking forward to, uh, after some of the adjustments, doing initial completion of uh, Act um, Act 6 as well. Free-to-play Grandmaster. thought doing the variants could be really fun as well. Like the Mystic variant, dude. We are rank 5 Clairvoyant. I think we're going to be having a good time in the uh, the Mystic variant, doing that 100%. Can uh, get a gem to, uh, what is it, rank 4 Magneto from that as well. So that should be a good time. Uh, but yeah. Should work out well. Okay, right, let's move on to the uh, the next quest here. Um, what path do we want to go for? Oh, I do like those ones with gold on. We don't have a... Um... Oh, actually, yeah, we do have a Mephisto counter. We can just use Claire, right? Uh, what else is on this path again? Oh, life transfer. Yeah, that's fine. We don't have distract to deal with. Let's go for the life transfer path. Pick up that 10k gold, boys. Let's go for it. An awakened Red Guardian, any good? I, I think he needs to be awakened uh, to really get some good spice out of him. I think he's still alright on Awakened, at least to the best of my memory. But I'm really not an expert on Red Guardian. I barely know. I, I can barely remember like too much about the character because it's been so long since I've played around with him. And I never pulled the, um, uh, the five-star version. So yeah, it's one character I just don't really have much knowledge on. But uh, it'd be cool if we could get Red Guardian, because there's the featured 5-star crystal as well from you and Treasure Island. So if we could get the uh, the featured 5-star, that'd be a really, really good time. I'm only on 6.2.6 .6 now, seeing any tips before going with Doom against the Champion. Um, just learn to dex that special one. Make sure you, like, practice dueling. Because uh, if you get to the final 10% and you're not confident on decks in the special one, you're going to be there for a very, 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 very long and very expensive time. So that is 100% the thing you need to do before fighting the champion, is just make sure you're comfortable dexing. But aside from that, Doctor Doom's really, really good for the fight, especially now that they've uh, made the adjustments. So yeah, Doctor Doom, you can just dominate that final phase uh, and the rest of the fight as well. So yeah, best of luck. There are a few... Um, 
Uh, what does it take downs on YouTube? But what is up to AP Waves? Thank you very much for the 199 super chat and also mad love to Rip93 Ford as well for the $2 super chat. Finally, did 100% 6.1. Am I proud? <laughs> Are you proud, Dad? Um, I'm so proud, Rip93 Ford. You've just got the rest of it to do and uh, good luck with that. <laughs> but to be fair, man, like 6.4 and 6.3 have seen like some pretty substantial attack reductions uh, in the last patch and update. So uh, yeah, hopefully it's uh, hopefully it's going to be a much better time, man. Uh, but yeah, thank you uh, very much for the super chats, lads. Certainly do appreciate it. Hit the one year member beast mode. Thank you so much, dude. I certainly appreciate it. Glad to support the pasty white British gambler. Thank you very much, sir. Am I going to do a mega opening video? Yes, we are red lightning. That's the plan. So I'm going to do a mega opening video probably on Sunday, maybe maybe late Saturday. We'll see how the grind goes. I've got like um. Uh, probably about two and a half hours of playing the account today and then I'm going out for dinner with the missus gonna have a, a nice uh, dinner out because she's just uh, started her, her new job so we're celebrating or maybe I should have just stuck to a uh, special three there but look at that power gain versus Mephisto man that's pretty nutty right come on big fella let's get out yeah Right, there we go. <laughs> okay, hopefully uh, my audio is still in sync. Let me know, because there was a little bit of a blip in the Elgato there. Uh, so I'm not too sure if it off-sync the audio. I think it looks fine, like, just looking at the uh, the screen right now. It's waiting weeks for your live, man. Dude, I do apologize. I haven't been live in a while, but we're going to be live a fair bit next week with all the new content as well. So, yeah, there's uh, a lot of good stuff coming up. But yeah, I'm really excited to see what uh, free-to-play six-star champion we're going to get after doing all this, man. Hopefully somebody good. Because we got the champion, we got Deadpool X-Force, and we've also got Aegon. Those are the three six-stars I got on my free-to-play account. And uh, yeah, if I uh, awaken Aegon, I kind of don't want to awaken Aegon, man. Just because it would be like a bit too much power, you know? It would just be like, okay, I can do uh, Abyss of Legends and Labyrinth of Legends. Easy game, easy life. Just be too much. Yo, AP Waves, thank you very much for the additional $5 super chat, sir. Uh, would I rank three in Unawakened Apocalypse? Uh, was lucky enough to pull him, so I figured might as well take him up all the way. Um, I definitely play around with a character and see if you like him. Uh, I forgot what his prestige is, comparatively speaking, so it depends, like, you know, what you need out of a rank three champion. But based on my experience, dude, I would love a six star rank three Apocalypse at some point. So yeah, he's a character that I would, uh, I'd really, really like to take up to six star rank three. He doesn't necessarily need it, but because uh, he's so good at rank two. But uh, rank three, dude, I, I don't see that being a problem at all. So yeah, if you really like him, you're digging the character. So it's a pretty, uh, pretty good shout. Dodge those uh, Saiyan beams there, <laughs> but there we go. Better counter to 6.3.2, Nick Fury, Colossus, or Domino. I think Colossus with full synergies works better in that fight, at least to the best of my memory. He's fully debuff immune, right? So, yeah, I, I don't think Domino's, like, that great for the fight. I think she works, but she's not, like, that great. So, yeah, I think it's Colossus, at least to the best of my memory. It's been a while since I've done that Nick Fury fight. It's also, like, another reason I uh, really wanted to pick up the free-to-play account again. Because it just gives me the opportunity to progress through the game. Get kind of a, a fresh memory of certain pain points and fights. And it's uh, it's always good, man. Always good to have that updated knowledge. What I think about 5 star rank 3 unawakened sunspot. Uh, asks, I am sunspot. I think judging by the, the fact that you've changed your YouTube name to I am sunspot. I think you really like Sunspot, and i got to agree with you there, dude. Sunspot is an absolute banger of a champion. So, yeah, he's really, really good. Just smashing through everything. I think, um, what was it, Brian Grant, when he did his, like, one-week uh, $100 spending account challenge thing, 
he had like five star um i don't know if it was rank three or rank four sunspot in the end but you just tore through everything there's a lot of content that sunspot can like punch uh punch up and just absolutely demolish so yeah sunspot is uh he's a beast he's really really good Come on, Medusa, let's go. Perfect. That's pretty nice damage there. Is this going to be enough? Maybe not with the armor stance. Oh, dude, that was a cheeky intercept right there. My goodness. Well, that worked out well. Clairvoyant absolutely smashing through. Uh, uncollected difficulty. But I will, I will try and get the... Uh, I don't know if I can go for like the full champion so solo on Apocalypse, but I'll, I'll give it a go. See if we can uh, work something out on that fight. Okay, what's up next? So we've got a um, uh, Scarlet Witch. The can you crit this one? No, you can't crit this one. Okay, and we also got Footloose. So She Hulk there, I imagine, is going to work exceptionally well. Um, I think for the team as well, let's take out Sabretooth and bring in. Uh, I think I got my six star. Six star, five star, rank, um, is he rank one? <laughs> I think he's rank two now, man. I haven't fully leveled him up, though. We got my Magneto, man. Let's get him in the team. I think he should probably be better than Sabretooth. Oh, he's rank three, actually. Yeah, rank three. He's only level 21, though, because uh, I've, I've no ISO, man. That's why I desperately need, like, a big crystal opening and also a big stack of gold to kind of get this account back on track. Oh, yes, AP Waves, dude. I'm so sorry, man. I got really distracted there. But uh, thank you very much for all the super chats, bro. A massive, massive congrats on that six-star apocalypse. I must admit, I am incredibly jealous. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for all the super chats, dude. That is uh, $9 total now. So yeah, mad love. But yeah, I, th I think we'll try the uh, the rank three um, uh, Magneto on a couple of fights here. Who's, uh, who's metal on this path again? Is Thor Ragnarok metal? I think we'll try on that fight for fun anyway. Let's go for a bit of Mysterio up first. Look at that baby Parandex on Magneto. The thing is, he's really, really overpowered. So even a 5-star rank 3, he should be putting in some good work. And then I think we got to do some variants because he's so... You know, there are so many gems to... Um, Take him up to rank 4 via doing 100% variance. That doesn't make sense ready to use any resources. Taking him up to rank 4. So yeah, I think we'll probably look at smashing out uh, a bit of variant 5 potentially with um, uh, Clairvoyant. Or doing like the middle chapter of uh, variant 4 because that one's really, really easy. Have I already done that? I don't think I've already done that on the free to play. But yeah, that one uh, is a great time, man. Really, really good time. That one you don't get, uh, you get the crystal, whereas variant 5 is really, really good because you get the uh, generic gem, so you can just put it on whoever you fancy. Oh, yeah, Thor's Metal. Big RIP there, boys. <clears throat> if you want to play Magneto for a second, okay, so you want to fling him back. Um... I have a feeling even the the rank three is going to be a bit too OP. Oh, if that had crit, he would have been in the shadow realm there. Again, the special three is the um the way you ideally want to go with Magneto. <laughs> but I wanted to see if we could like uh, just nuke him down quickly with a uh, special two. Just wanted to kind of get, you know, get an idea of what range we're dealing with here. But I do need, I definitely need a bit of Magneto practice, man. I'm very, very rusty when it comes to this fella. Yo, Night Monkey, thank you very much for the $1 super chat. Hopefully you're doing well. Alexander Rogers, great to see you on the channel today, man. It's going very, very well. Right. 
Okay, so we got no magnetism here, but I want to test out, see what he feels like in a fight where I don't have... Um... That magnetism buff. It's a really good opportunity to uh, heavy counter after a special one. Right, let's see if that's enough. Again, I don't have deep wounds or any snazzy masteries on the free to play. This might be a little bit a little bit less, but <laughs> damn that's a solid chunk already. Yeah, he's still going down, man. Plenty of overkill there as well. And uh, again, no uh <laughs> no magnetism there. So yeah, I have a feeling Magneto is uh is gonna be doing some solid work. I think we've completed three objectives for um uh, Mutant Treasure Island keys as well so far. So that's always a uh, very nice time. Is uh okay, Cap Infinity War. He's a metal. Um, I'll just go for the champion for this fight. Yo, what is up, Ek? Thank you very much for the five dollar super chat. Yo, Cian, doing my first Abyss run this weekend without Aegon or Doom. What do you think about my team? You've got Human Torch, Nick Fury. Uh, Stealth Suit, Spider-Man, Claire, and Magneto. Hmm. It's been like a while since I've done Abyss, so it isn't like super fresh in my mind at the moment. So you haven't got Aegon, you haven't got Doctor Doom. Like, Claire's definitely uh, a fitting substitute for um, uh, some of the fights. Like, obviously, she's not as good as Doom, so the Mystic uh, fights that you need to use her for, sorry, the Cosmic matchups are going to feel a bit more grindy. But she can still get the job done from what I've seen. Instead of Aegon, you got Magneto. Um, yeah, should be working out quite well for most matchups. What's the other one? Stealth Spider-Man. Oh, yeah, Stealth Spider's going to be really good for Thing. It's going to cover a lot of those uh, Aegon bases for you. So, yeah, I think it all looks good on paper. I'm just trying to think if there's any matchup that uh, you're not going to be able to do. Mm, I, don't, I, I think you're pretty well covered, dude. Um, at least to the best of my memory, but again, Abyss Light isn't super fresh in my mind at the moment. So yeah, definitely take a look at the um, uh, Abyss Guide and everything just beforehand. See if there's any additional insight that you might be able to pull from that. Because again, I just haven't looked at Abyss or kind of dedicated a lot of time to it in like over six months now, man. So I'm a little bit rusty there. Uh, but what is up to Rockstar Scholars? Finally became Cavalier the other day. Massive thanks to you for your guides. It's all good, dude. Thank you very much for all the super chats. And also Mike G with the $10 super chat there. Dude, really, really close. Just up up in uh, Rockstar by a single set there. Mike, thank you very much for the uh, the $10 super chat. Yeah, you guys are being far too nice today. I certainly do appreciate it. But I think we can put, like, uh, both of you up there, man. Can we fit both of you? There we go. Just about, mate. Just about. Right, perfect. But, yeah, thank you uh, very much for uh, the support. Certainly do appreciate it. Right, let's go for Magneto versus uh, X-23 here. Got magnetism on this fight, so yeah, it should be a really nice time. And my Magneto, uh, of course, is an awakened on the free to play. I think we do have a five star mutant awakening gem. He doesn't really need it. It would be nice to have though. But also via mutant treasure island, we could be um, getting like a couple more mutant <laughs> gems. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see what's up, man. We'll see what happens. All right, let's see if we can double this. Uh... She's just going down so quickly with the heavies, even without that additional energy burst. <laughs> there we go. That's fine, man. Yo, what's up, B. Daniels? Three five-star Nexus crystals out of 12 Cavaliers. That is ridiculous, man. Massive congratulations there. Yeah, that's crazy lucky. Dude, I've seen a lot of people pulling those uh, Nexus crystals already. Like, the additional drop rate seems to be quite nice, especially for the caps. But hopefully, uh, in the next round of Cavalier Crystals, we can see a few as well. Oh my god, the Super Chat's coming in so fast today, man. Stealth Ghost. Hey, Seaton, been working on 100% Axe 6 and did five paths of the Champion Quest today. Only one shot was with Warlock with a Spike Node. Can't even one shot with Symbiote Supreme. How did you one shot the Champion with Warlock? 
Damn, bro, that's impressive. I, I, can, I can see it, I guess, because you block out the healing fully with his infection, right? I don't know how you did it, bro, but that's that's crazy impressive if you did one-shot the champion with Warlock. So, yeah, fair play, dude. Very, very nice work. And, uh, yeah, 100% man can be a massive pain, but I'm sure <laughs> you'll probably appreciate some of those changes that were made uh, to the champion fight a fair bit. One's a bit annoying. We can heavy counter um, on certain stuff, though. I might just be able to um, blast him down now. Oh, no. I needed to get a quick in there. Unfortunately, we didn't land it. Right. Oh, dude, no! I was hoping uh, he was open there. Such a scrub mistake. Still a bit of a noob when it comes to playing Magneto. Oh my god, did we not clip him with that? So bad, lads. I'm sorry for that performance. That was absolutely diabolical. Just finish him off with uh, a couple of special ones. Been playing a uh, pre buff Magneto in this fight, man. Oh, yeah, that was a bit painful, man. And also, Tadra, thank you very much for the uh, the 40 rupee super chat. And dude, shame about your first six star, Ant Man. Certainly not what we're going to see. And Rockstar Scholars adding an additional dollar, bringing him up to $11 there. So, uh, yeah, thank you uh, <laughs> very much, sir. Let's get your, your full name up there as our solo blubbery as well of the day. And then we've got the, uh, what is it, the Scarlet Witch boss fight here. So this one should be really, really good with She-Hulk, man. Going to give you guys hopefully a bit of a better performance than the previous matchup because that one was sloppy, man. <sighs> Gosh, I definitely need to tone up my Magneto skills a fair bit. But I also haven't played the character extensively since he went live. So this is a good opportunity um, reviving this account for me to learn a little bit more. Because Lord knows, after that matchup, I certainly need it. But as long as we have slow applied to Scarlet Witch, she won't proc unstoppable, and she won't be able to trigger her evade. That's a pretty good time. I remember when it was all like four combos and chaining on heavies in the corner with She-Hulk. That was such a fun time, man. She was crazy broken then. But I thoroughly enjoyed it. Well, that, <laughs> that fight was a lot better than the previous one. We've still got a, a little bit of the She-Hulk magic. I don't know if I could uh, get a champion, uh, a decent champion attempt with her. I know we are going to have to tackle that at some point. I think between her and Clairvoyant, those are my only two uh, really good champion options right now. So yeah, we'll make it work. Uh, but looking at this chapter, what path do I want to go down here? Hmm... I think we just go south here. We do have the Mighty Charge node. Actually, Mighty Charge and uh, Magneto is a bit annoying. We'll take it anyway. I don't know if we're going to go for 100% uncollected over the next couple of days. We might do, though. Where's well, the best place for me to give you some Magneto tips? Um, <laughs> Just in chat if there's anything, dude. Again, usually I'm a lot better than that at playing him, but uh, that was definitely a bit of a uh, scrub fight there. I think the champion should uh, clean up quite nicely on a few of these fights. 
Might use she ult for the Magneto, actually. I'm not too sure who I want to use for Professor X. Maybe Mysterio. We'll try Mysterio versus Professor X, see if we can get a one shot there. Then we've also got Mysterio versus Apocalypse as well. See how we get on. Right, three combo. Oh, actually, I should have done that a bit earlier. Yeah, I just dumped my Fury for no reason. That was not the smartest move. Remember, first fight playing the champion, you don't want to use uh, any special attack. Uh, unless you can use a special two before you generate, um, what was it, an additional Fury. Oh, Queen Serenity, thank you very much for the uh, the CA $5 super chat. Certainly do appreciate it. Mad love, hopefully you're doing well. And uh, yeah, thank you very much. What a Karnak buff. Yeah, that'd be cool to see at some point. I think there are a lot of characters I'd like to get buffed uh, before Karnak. But I'm, I'm really excited for the Falcon buff. I can't wait to see what they do with him. The Punisher buff actually looks so good on paper as well. So I can't wait to play that. I think Monday when the patch shore update comes out. Hopefully it should be Monday anyway. All right, come on, Howard. All right, I don't think I want to use that. Actually, I could use a special two here. It's a good opportunity to, yeah. I thought it was just perfect for ending off the fight there. And we start with like three Fury anyway for any uh, any of the next fights. Okay, so Magneto. I I want to try She-Hulk versus Magneto because theoretically I think she's going to be quite good. Because with She-Hulk you can still bait out the heavy attacks. And that's a really annoying thing about fighting Magneto after his buff. Is that you uh, can't bait out the heavy attacks or else he goes unstoppable. There is like a time where you can hit into him, but the interval's quite... Oh, I guess like him uh, charging into us with this node is removing slow. That's actually really, really annoying. Okay, well, I just need to um, <laughs> play better, man. I'm getting battered by this Magneto. He is absolutely wiping the floor with me. Okay, cheeky intercept, straight into a five combo. Get another one out of this lad. Go for a backdraft. Refresh the fury. Oh, that was a bit clutch. I just about caught those hands. <laughs> oh, man. Magneto is so much more annoying to fight after his buff, though. Oh, there we go, man. There we go. He's down. He's in the bin. But such a pain to deal with after that update. Okay, I think we'll go for the, uh, the Guillotine and Colossus path here. Just in case I don't get around to doing 100% uncollected. Just because then we can at least get the uh, the bonus 100 uh, five star shots. But the champion I always remember was just really handy to have uh, uh, Gilly 2099 matchups. Really, any good cosmic works, but he's nice for the uh, the cheeky little headbutt. Oh, damn, that was a big crit. Let's go. Headbots are ferocious. Okay, let's see if we, we can get a special two out of her. Come on, mate. Just chilling. Want to get that invisibility back off cooldown, on cooldown. Okay, Fury come into play. 
four massive crit. Right, perfect, mate. Oh. <laughs> did I say? Yeah, I did watch the latest episode of The Boys. I don't want to give any spoilers, but it's good. It's a really, really good episode. I'm excited for the uh, the finale. But this season has been, uh, yeah, really phenomenal. Okay, we probably don't want to use Magneto against Colossus just because he has double power gain, and that's a bit of a bitch sometimes. Or maybe we do. Uh, it's been a while since I played Magneto versus Colossus. I think this would be a good one to... Um, Good one to, uh, what is it, remind myself of what's going on in this matchup again. Right, let's start getting the prowess and doubling it. Maybe this fight's a bit more of a pain because we need to bait out more special attacks. Let's just look for any heavy counter we can. That's got to be it, right? Oh, is that not it? Oh, no, I thought that was it. <laughs> no. Oh, my God. Colossus is too tanky, bro. Oh, yeah, it's not it. Because Magneto, uh, Colossus can't be armor broken by anybody that isn't tech. So I'm a 20 IQ simp. I am a 20 IQ simp. And that's how Magneto gets his massive SP3 damage. There's probably somebody in chat being like, see, you goddamn simp, that's not going to work. Oh, that person was right, man. It's nice to make these mistakes for myself, though. It's all right, we got Mysterio, boys. The king of carry. Sort that man out with a cheeky little uppercut there. Mm. Oh, Killer Beezy coming straight in with the banter. Hopefully you're doing well today, man. Uh, yo, AP Waves. I think that's, uh, what is it, $12 now? Dude, absolute mad love. Yo, Stan Lee did a triple six star opening yesterday. You got Superior Iron Man, Punisher 2099, and Red Magneto. Bro, the Red Magneto alone, easily worth 30k, 6 star chance. But that Punisher, bro, come Monday, I know, man, might be pretty damn spicy. We haven't, nobody's had the opportunity to um, uh, even test him out in the CCP. So, uh, yeah, hopefully he turns out to be really, really good. He looks amazing on paper. Um, especially with his power control mechanics. Those are nutty, mate. Oh, B. Daniels, why are you depressing me like this, bro? Just think, under normal circumstances, in about a week you'd be having a fruity drink while I drank something manly in New York City. Yeah, bro. I'd, I'd probably be out there... Is it now? What's the date? Yeah, I, would it be this this weekend, is New York Comic Con? Or next, next weekend? Because usually it's... Isn't the first one of the month? In October? Ugh, it, but either way, man, it's just crazy depressing. I should have switched to, uh, what is it, Hellfire Stance there. Yeah. I was too busy being sad about New York Comic Con. <laughs> right. Let's go for this. Next year, man, they're going to do it. The boffins, the science nerds, they'll find some sort of vaccine. Bill Gates, microchip us all. Steve Jobs already has us microchipped. And so did Kabam. But... More microchips, boys, and New York Comic Con is back on. Easy game, easy life. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I'm i just now, I went from happy, man, B. Daniel's soup chat, just just made me high-key depressed there, man. Uh, it is what it is, though, lads. It could always be a little bit worse, eh? All right, let's trigger the falter couple of seconds and then we'll start smashing it again 
Professor X is like Yondu, as long as you parry from a distance, you can always uh, secure the stun off it. And then do a couple of hits into block. This SP2 is much easier to bait out this man. Should we go for a cheeky backdraft here? Oh, okay, fault already. Nice. Right, let's dodge that special one. Oh yeah, I forgot he's like always so uh, passive after. Okay, considering we want to burst him down, let's go trigger falter. Want to SP3, get the massive attack bonus, and then um, nuke in after, see if we can get him down. Oh, Mysterio, let's go. So much damage, son. Fantastic. Oh, yes. The magic. The magic is right here. This man is full of source. Easy, bro. Easy. Damn. People are saying about Mysterio promotion. I don't know, man. Maybe play my free-to-play account. I'm going to get new appreciation from Mysterio. He certainly um, felt pretty good to finish off that fight there. But we also have Apocalypse. I'll bring, uh, maybe try Mysterio uh, Apocalypse solo instead of Champion. We can bring, like, both in anyway. Oh, no, we got Magic. Do I have a good Magic counter on the free-to-play? I don't think I do. Um, I got, like, Sabertooth Killmonger. Magic fight's going to suck a little bit, though. Let me have a look at my character's... Oh, we got Quake. We can break. Can you Quake this one? Um, I'll bring in Quake as well. Yeah, yeah. I forgot we were using Quake for half the stuff as well. The Cheese Queen. Right, let's have a, a bit of a look at this magic again. What does she have on Uncollected? She's got Prayer in the Week, Unblockable, Buffet, Special Chaos Inversion. I'm pretty sure we can just Quake her down. We'll give it a go. Should be fine. Yo, what is up, B. Daniels? To make you feel better, you don't have to hear my crap talk for another year. <laughs> Just read it. But I miss it. I miss it, B. Daniels. I miss the smack in person. The banter at New York Comic Con. It's always 10 out of 10, bro. So, uh, I'm still a bit guided, but it is what it is, mate. Uh, I think that makes you a blubbery swell. Right? $13. Dude, thank you uh, very much for all the super chats. I'll, I'll put them toward the uh, the fruity drink fund for uh, next year, man. Get on those David uh, Dave and Buster's cocktails. <laughs> oh, dude, Dave and Buster's meet up last year was so fun. I was so drunk. I was I was just out of it, mate. I was I was gone. Yo, what's up, pleb? Thank you very much for the five dollar super chat. I opened five Cavalier crystals and I got two five star Nexus crystals. First options were Mole Man, Sentinel, and Silver Surfer. Second was Invisible Woman, Daredevil, and Cyclops. You took uh, what is it, Sentinel and Invisible Woman? Yeah, I'd say they, those are probably the right choices, man. If you didn't have either version, the Sentinel like he puts in so much work, um, especially across like variant content, Act Six as well. So yeah, solid shout there, dude. But that, that Cavalier subscription card was pretty nuts yesterday that they put out. I think it's still available now. It's like $230 worth of Cavalier crystals for 65 plus you get 3k um, 6 star shards on top of it. And half a million gold. It's not a bad offer as far as they go. So yeah, I quite like that one. I I'd love, I'd love that for like Apocalypse featured <laughs> Cavalier crystals. Or like, you pick that offer, but then you select which featured Cavalier Crystal you'd like from it. That would be a sick offer. Because it's like, offer-wise, it's like almost the same price. It's a bit more expensive, but it's almost the same price as like 5 featured Cavalier Crystals. For like 35 of them. So yeah, it's definitely, uh, definitely a nicer Cavalier Crystal offer. But uh, yeah, pretty good. Yo, what's up, Chosen? Thoughts on the fr Throne Breaker requirements? RNG hasn't been on my side. I think they should um, uh, definitely change it from ha needing to have, like, a 6-star rank 3 champion to just, like, having a T5CC fully formed. Uh, yeah, I was I was a little bit distracted when that came out, so I just never got around to making a video on it. Uh, but I wanted to. But I think that's how they should change it, because it... 
it seems a bit arbitrary that you uh, need to take a champion up to rank 3, because I know there are so many people that just get shafted in terms of their 6-star roster, but as long as somebody's formed a T5CC level, they're still, you know, at that level of play. So yeah, I think it should just be changed to, you need to form a single T5CC. I think that would be a solution that kind of appeases everybody. So yeah, hopefully, I, I know they announced the delay. Uh, I don't know if it was due to um, uh, changes or a bug or what it was. Uh, but hopefully it's due to them changing it to that. That would be amazing. Because I know there's uh, a lot of conversations surrounding it. So I'm, I'm very curious to see what they do. Right. Should work out quite nicely. Guys, you've been far too generous with the Super Chats, man. I swear every time I <laughs> look away from my screen, they're just pouring in. Uh, Hasamama... Has has a mama mama? Is that how I say it? I'm so sorry if I'm saying it incorrectly there. Hey man, long time big fan here. Was wondering if I'd be willing to update the best five stars to rank five. Dude, those two are actually on my list for this month. So yeah, I really want to update both of those guides. Uh, so yeah, keep an eye out, man. Keep an eye out because um, uh, yeah, those guides definitely need to be updated. Uh, Clay says Mysterio with Emma Frost synergy is the best against this magic. It's a very good shout, man, because then you have, uh, what is it? You ignore the inverted controls. So that is really, really nice. I think we'll use the champion for this electro just because I want to save my uh, Quake. Because I'm still not like the best Quake player out there. <laughs> so yeah, I think we'll go for that. But yeah, that, that synergy is really nice for inverted control scenarios. I think I've got four star Emma Frost uh, on my free to play. Because I remember using four star Emma Frost for that month like a year ago where we had all the, the Spider Man and Evade bosses for the Spider Man movie. It feels like it's been decades now since uh, a new Marvel movie was released. I'm so excited for <laughs> like the next phase to actually come. One Division trailer looked really, really sick. Yo, what's up? up AP waves? I think that brings you up to... Is that $15 now? I th I think it is. I, I, I'm, <laughs> I can't quite remember. But we'll get you up there. $15, man. I think it's got to be added up total. Uh, so yeah, dude. Thank you very much for all the super chats, man. Certainly do appreciate it. Alright, let's skip over to the, uh, the second X platform here. Right, what do we have? Uh, I think... We'll go down this way. I don't necessarily have a great option for Nick Fury, but I can still do it with a champion. And I'm going to try and save everybody else uh, for uh, magic. I want to use, um, what is it? Shield works really well for Man Thing matchups because she's poison immune. Alright, let's dodge that. Oh, yes. This is why I love when the champion has five furies, man. That damage does feel really, really nice. Damn. B. Daniel's going in with a $5 super chat. Thank you very much, sir. Right, let's have a bit of a cheeky look here. Uh, how do you think I feel? I chose to go camping, which was fun. Over going to NYCC last year, I was thinking I'd just be able to go this year. Oh, yeah, dude. That is uh, certainly not the greatest feeling. I know so many people that were really looking forward to, uh, like, going to their first Comic-Con this year, or, like, um, uh, what is it, going to, like, the London MCOC meetup as well. I'm still so gutted about the London meetup, man. It's really, really unfortunate. But, hey, it is what it is. We'll get it back on track as soon as, uh, as soon as this global pandemic has hopefully, uh, fizzled out a bit more, but who knows what's gonna happen, man. It's a mystery right now. But yeah, thank you very much for the uh, $18 total. Uh, and also mad love to Dustin Lenderman for the $5 super chat. Hopefully you're doing well today, mate. Sad day today. My third five-star was Dormammu. It's not, not the saddest day out there. Dormammu's all right. But yeah, he's not quite the spiciest character in the entire game. But... <laughs> I feel like... Um, I feel like new players now have it ridiculously good. Like, people tell me about their bad pulls and I'll be like, dude, I remember back in the day, it must have been like two years ago, two, three years ago, looking at rosters that just like, um, had pulled probably about like 
10 to 20 five star champions and they'd have like close to nothing usable <laughs> oh my god times have times have definitely uh changed uh, a bit of marvel contest of champions there are a lot more massive wins than there used to be used to be did you get <laughs> what is it stark spidey blade or ghost rider no probably got shafted Oh, dude, that last phase was melted there. The champion did so well on that Nick Fury. That was ridiculous. But yeah, there, there were some terrible rosters in the past. I think it's been quite fortunate because over the last like three and a bit years, um, a lot of the really, really bad champions are now actually exceptionally good. Because characters like She-Hulk, uh, Venom, Red Hulk, Colossus, Magneto... Uh, old man Logan. Just trying to think who else as well. Uh, Carnage. Carnage used to be uh, close to unusable as well. Carnage, like he isn't the best, but he he like <laughs> deals so much damage now in comparison to what he used to. Luke Cage as well, obviously. Hulk Buster, the big Hulk Buster buff. Yeah, there's been so many crazy buffs in the the last um, few years. I probably forgot a couple off the top of my head as well. But hopefully, like, this time next year, there's going to be very few bad champions to get. And hopefully Dormammu is a character that does get a bit of a tune-up. I think Dormammu would probably be a perfect uh, champion for uh, an update like Punisher 2099. Because if they kind of upped his kit a bit more and gave him a bit more damage... Uh, maybe some cool additional stuff or bumped up the numbers a bit more. Could make Dormammu really, really interesting. I'd love to see, like, uh, Dormammu just clapping cheeks. Oh, yes, Spider-Gwen as well. That's very true, man. If you get Star-Lord, he was the OG of OGs. And also we had, like, Archangel and uh, Iceman around that time as well. Hyperion as well. Don't forget. But the point I was trying to make was, like, think about, like, back in the day... Uh, about like eighty percent of the stuff in the pool was pretty like yeah. Nowadays, I would say like probably about sixty percent is pretty good. Forty percent and twenty percent is like oh that's not too bad, and the other twenty percent is like oh that's rubbish man, completely unusable. But I would say there's more trash in the six stars than most other crystals. But yeah, I need to look at the numbers and stats. But every single month, there are so many characters just going up exponentially on the tier list of all these uh, updates and synergies that they've been lugging in. Yo, Gacha Cookies and Cream, thank you very much for the $5 super chat. Groot as well is still a massive meme. But yeah, the Spider Gwen buffer is really, really nice. Oh, this magic is a bit. It's a bit fun and interactive, eh, lads? Right, we're going to power through. First, that limbo bit. Just want to see how much damage we can get before I need to uh, bring out the quake. Ah, oh, there we go. We made a solid, <laughs> solid dead in magic. Yo, shout out to K Mizan. Dude, we got K Mizan here? What? Dude, he's my favorite Grime MC out there. I I go to all of his gigs. I'm there in the front row. I'm moshing, bro. It's time to get suited and booted. And kitted up for the war. Oh, gosh. I bump that every single morning, man. It's just the biggest tune of my entire life. Unironically, though, it does bang. It bangs really, really hard. Let's go! <laughs> Quite 
quite perfectly balanced champion, boys. Very, um, yeah, very, very fair. So that was a great magic takedown. Thank goodness we've got a um, five-star rank through Quake just to finish off the job there. I think I did uh, max out the four-star as well on the free-to-play, and as soon as I did that, uh, I pulled the five-star. But I'm never going to be Quake for life because I do enjoy her for getting through fun interactive scenarios, but it does get to a point where Quake gameplay can become a little bit much. Um, I don't think we want to use Quake here, though. Uh, I think probably a champion for a lot of clearing. I need like another uh, apocalypse option. So let's have a quick look at the roster. We could use Iceman. Doesn't go immune to anything Iceman does, right? Got Iceman. We got Sentinel. Could use Sentinel, actually. Hmm. I think I like Sentinel. Yeah, let's go for that. So with mate. Yo, what's up? AP hey, Waves, thank you very much for the additional $5 super chat, bro. Let's get you up there as our blubberiest whale, man. That is $20 now. Been making content for two months now and struggle to upload a video a day. So man respect for the awesome videos I always put out. Oh, thank you very much. Certainly do appreciate the kind words. Just um a somewhat somewhat level of discipline that you just gotta like kick yourself up the backside all day. <laughs> like when I first when I was 19, I'm 20 uh, 25 now, but when I was 19, I, I failed miserably at trying to be a full-time YouTuber. Because I do um probably about one video every two, three days. And I just didn't see growth. And then when I started taking it full time, I was like, okay, I'm going to commit to doing one video per day. And then I found that I could do that and still have loads of time in the day. Um, so I was like, okay, two videos. And then it kind of escalated to uh, four to six videos, depending on, <laughs> you know, what's going on and what I have to make videos about. Sometimes I'm a bit lazy, though. Depends. But... My my grind has been crazy this year, man. It's been insane. Like I upload so much on the Seven Deadly Sins channel as well. The I'm still outputting easily like 30, 40 videos. I think every single week across both channels. But some weeks I'm I'm a little bit slack. Some weeks I'm smashing out boys, eight videos a day. <laughs> but depends. Yo, what is up, my boy Christian Escamilla? Thank you very much for the uh, the five dollar super chat, and also mad love to Ankit as well. Thank you very much for the two euro super chat there. How is boy going so far? Where you at? Um, <laughs> do you mean how we're doing in uh, uncollected? We're doing very well, man. We're just on the apocalypse chapter now. Uh, we've also completed just fine doing completion. Uh, eight of the this is why I wanted to like leave it till later in the month because then I can just do stuff and get the objectives done and not have to go out of my way to do them because I love I love how they all pile up it's so good man because we've now got like eight reward keys probably like uh, nine or ten by the time we finish plus like also doing the quest as well we'll probably get like a couple more keys so yeah it should be really really nice but we are we're gonna rinse the rewards man it's gonna be mental I probably should have brought the champion for this fight as well. It's all good. As long as we don't get massively clapped by Mysterio. By Wolverine, sorry. We should be fine. Okay, right. I'm going to bait out the uh, SP3. We're going to go in for double medium. Get parry stun. You always want to try and... Uh, what is it? Stun before special 3 on Mysterio. Just so you can uh, run in straight after and deal massive damage with the attack bonus. Nice, should be enough to finish him off. Perfect, mate. Yo, what's up, Rage Dude? Thank you very much for the five uh, Euro Super Chat, sir. I think we can all agree the old Tinder stories was the best of old seeing. I don't even, I don't even remember that man. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about, sir. But yeah. Oh, dude, I had no idea. I have been a bit slacking, man. I've been playing, uh, what is it? A lot of Seven Deadly Sins, a lot of Genshin Impact as well this week. That's just like my uh, my side my side fun game at the moment. So yeah, I've been uh, on the Genshin Impact hype train, but that game is uh, that game's pretty fun to play, man. Just like a free anime version of Breath of the Wild. But I wanted to uh, jump back on the free-to-play, man. Take advantage of Mutant Treasure Island because it's it's too good to pass up, you know? It's the, literally the best event we've ever had in the history of the game. Oh, no.
Yeah, I haven't got the champion ramped up, so I need to take the opportunity to do that. I think if we, um... I think I used to use the champion to fight Iron Man in Findy War. I think I want to fire off like a 5 Fury Special 3 at about 18 to 16%. Because then we can just nuke the rest down and not have to worry about the final phase. Okay, that's going down quick. <laughs> I actually really enjoy playing the champion, man. Like, once he's ramped up, let's get those Furies up. Damage is very nice. Took a few hits there. Okay, that was a terrible combo, man. We got no crits and we triggered four stacks of armor. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was really unfortunate. Okay. I still need to practice my reparries as well. I think this would be a good time to um, do that. I'm just going to wait for the armor to uh, expire off him. And the fury to come back. And there we go. Easy takedown. I was going to ask, how is Genshin Impact? It's really, really good. It's, um... There's definitely, like, a lot to learn with it. <laughs> it's, uh... It's quite simple to pick up. But there's uh, a lot to master with it. But it's, uh... It's very different to uh, Marvel Contest of Champions and Seven Deadly Sins. But for a free-to-play game, uh, it's very enjoyable. But unless you got, like, the latest, um... Uh, iPhone or a very powerful Android phone, uh, you're probably going to run into problems of like overheating. Even my iPhone 10 XS Max uh, does run into some heating problems of it, but it's also available on like PS4, PC. But yeah, it's a good time, man. It's definitely probably it's definitely one of the best free-to-play games I've played. Because it, it literally just feels like your free version of Zelda Breath of the Wild. <laughs> it's a game I don't want to do um, any videos on because there are there are certain games I just like enjoy like lying on the couch and playing, <laughs> not having to worry like about recording or being on stream or anything like that. That's definitely one of those games. Okay, if this crits, man, we're good. Yeah, perfect. Any tips on finding the Rage Node? You've on champions with like a lot of damage over time that can be applied to opponents on that path. Um, or characters that nullify and remove buffs. Those can also be very, very good for Rage paths. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. There's a lot of really, really good options for Rage Nodes. They're like Morning Star. I think Clairvoyant's good. Most Mystic Champions are really quite good for um, uh, Rage Paths in general. is going to take a 6-star Kamala to rank 3. Oh my god, what a mad lad. Fair play to him, though. He's doing, uh, what was it? Abyss 100% life the, uh, the other week. I think I caught him uh, doing that live during his stream. Fair play to him. Did Sweden won, win one of the Summoner Showdown weeks? I feel like he might have. <laughs> I can't quite remember. I'm really excited to watch uh, the Summoner Showdown finals, though. I, did, I forgot what date they're going to be on. Does anybody in chat know? What date is the Summoner Showdown finals? Because I think they're in the process of, like, vetting uh, the finalists to do a big kind of, like, live stream event challenge thing. Because there's going to be, like, a semi-final and then a final. So, yeah, I... I, th I think there's a semi-final and then a final. At least to the best of my memory. You've been playing around with Horseman Colossus, and he's taking out champs faster than Ghost and Labyrinth. Damn, bro. Even have a 100-second almost solo of 6.2 champion. That is mad. Like, honestly, that Horseman buff is crazy for Colossus, though. Giving him that additional prowess is just mental, mate. It's just way, way too good. Is the full synergy team you use, um, yeah, what is it? Is it like, uh, Apocalypse Cable, um, a Mega Red and Emma Frost, or is it somebody a little bit different? Just trying to think there. Do you pick six star Kamala over six star Captain Marvel movie? Well, why Sage? That's how you know you're a true flexor, though. 
true flexes go for those kind of decisions. Captain Marvel movie, she'd be the obvious choice. Everybody goes to Captain Marvel movie. But only Sweden would go for Kamala Khan. That's what, what makes him a very, uh, <laughs> very interesting player to watch. But he's got the skills to, like, pull it off. Like, some of his takedowns are crazy, man. If I ever want to feel, like, insecure about my ability to play this mobile video game, I always open up Swedish channel. It's the first thing I do. Whenever I'm like, oh gosh, I'm a really good player. I'm so sick of this game. Nobody's better than me. I open up Swedish channel, like, a minute later, I'm like, I'm trash. I'm the worst. I barely know anything about this game. He just bangs out everything perfectly, man. It's too much. If I ever thought about uh, doing a video for which champions counter which nodes best, um, <laughs> like, what do you mean, like, a, a video? Because that would be a really, really long video, dude. There are, like, there are, like, thousands of nodes <laughs> in the game. Um, I, I have done it for, I think, certain uh, nodes in the past. But uh, there are just so many different nodes that that would be a very long video. It could be, like, a video series. But it would need to be something that's, um, what is it? Just causing a lot of people a lot of problems. But yeah, it's it's tough to bring all that information together. Because, again, there are just so many different nodes and so many different characters and interactions. That it's, uh, <laughs> it's tricky sometimes. Come on! Oh, the Fury's just going to expire. A little bit too early, unfortunately. Right, another five combo. Black Bolt's down. I think we are... Are we at Apocalypse now? I think so. We might have one more fight. Oh, no, no, no. We're at Big Daddy Apocalypse. Okay, lads, let's go. Mysterio one-shot. We can do this. Let's get hydrated, boys. Whoa. Oh. Big Danny Apocalypse is looking thick, man. <laughs> but let's make sure we don't get stunned into. Does he stun on uncollected? He, he's still got the intercept node, right? Oh, that's perfect. Okay, he didn't want to play into that backdraft there, though. Wasn't a fan. God, that block damage is nuts. <laughs> Mysterio one shot is not happening today, boys. I uh, greatly underestimated that block damage. That was, uh, that was a lot of damage, bro. A lot of damage. Right. Four star sentinel on a dream. That's all we need. All we need to get this land down. Oh, damn it. He backdrafted me. I swear on Cavalier, he'd play into, like, every single backdraft. Uncollected. He ain't playing no games, bro. Well, at least you got him down a <laughs> fair bit there. Oh, man. I, I'm i not confident enough to fully evade Apocalypse's uh, SP1, though. But Clairvoyant. Easy, mate. Easy. Gonna dance all over this man. Should have just done that first try, mate. <laughs> oh, well, that was, uh, you know, it was good eventually, man. We got him down. I 
definitely need to uh, improve my uh, evasion skills a little bit. However, now it's time. We're going to jump into the uh, the legendary difficulty of Mutant Treasure Island. And I know if we run into, um, uh, what is it, 5-star Wolverine Weapon X, which I'm pretty sure we will do at least, uh, at least a couple of times, uh, those fights are going to be uh, a little bit tricky to deal with, but I'm sure we'll get through them. Okay, so let's go for... Um, Let's claim some of these lockers. I think we'll claim all of them. And I want a few uh, T3 keys because there's some really valuable stuff in the T3. We get three T3, maybe four T3. It's so good that we literally got like eight locker keys alongside uncollected completion though. That's really, really good. Okay, so let's go for, I think four of each just to start off with. Because then we can get the, the featured hero crystal, the awakening gem. And maybe the, the platinum pool crystals. Like even though we're not going for platinum pool, the platinum pool crystals are really good for the, um, uh, the units. Let's get one more of those and we'll go for tier four. Damn, I love Mutant Treasure Island though. Hopefully we see a lot more events like it. Mutant Treasure Island, they should have just like done the event for the uh, the five year anniversary. Because I remember, dude, every single year. I don't know if Kabam watching guys. Kabam, if you are listening, your anniversaries suck every single year. They're so bad. They're meant to be big celebrations and they've just been like massive letdowns <laughs> for like, I think the last like three years. Um, so yeah, if if this year could be better, just just bring back Mutant Treasure Island. Six year anniversary is hype. Call it Christmas Treasure Island. <laughs> and you're, you're on to a winner, boys. You're on to a winner. You got a great event there. Easy game, easy life. Sorted. Okay, let's have a, a bit of a look. Oh, it's a fresh Mutant Treasure Island. Okay, we're going straight. It's got to be the 15k five star crystal. Straight off the cuff. You just feel like a kid at Christmas when you first go into Mutant Treasure Island. You're like, oh, what do I want, man? I can go for the Awakening Gem or the five star crystal. It's just good stuff everywhere. Okay, is this the right path? Yeah, definitely. All right, let's go down it. <laughs> Just use Ghost, bro. It's my free-to-play account. We don't have those pay-to-win characters like Ghost, man. Ridiculous. So ridiculous. Remember one year, we got four-star Howard the Duck. Oh, we did. Yeah, we got four-star Howard the Duck. And we got four-star Taskmaster once as well. Kabam, they really know how to spoil us, eh? I'm curious to see what they're going to do this year. Six year? I mean, it's a long time for a game to be running, but it's not like a, a five year anniversary, you know? Because it's, um, doesn't feel, it's still a big milestone, so hopefully they do something big to celebrate it. But yeah, I, I ain't too sure what we're going to be up against. Should have slapped on the XP boosters? I should have. I think I want to save them for 100% um, Act 4 <laughs> when I eventually do that. Act 4 and Act 5, that'll get me to level 60. How much should I sh save for my first clear of the Abyss of Legends? I do have the four horsemen already ranked up and ready. Um, how much did I use? I think you want to about... I'm just trying to remember how many units I used. I can't remember. I'd have a look at the Abyss guide. Uh, I recorded a guide like the day after I'd done it while it was fresh in my mind. But I, I think you want like um, at least like 9,000 units, I think. Just to make sure, because the worst thing is you don't want to go into the abyss, um, like get halfway through, uh, and then run out of units and just be stuck there <laughs> and not able to do any other quests. So yeah, I think you want to go in like way over the amount that you think you'll need. I think I think nine k um, could get it done much cheaper though. I think I, I it was about four thousand for my first run um, in terms of units. I think Legacy did his in about um, 3,000 first time. I don't know what Brian Grant did for his first clear. I know he saved up a lot of uh, revives and potions though, and that's also an additional factor. I had 40k units on my account that day, yeah, because I was going in blind and first, so I had no idea what to expect. 
So, um, I had a lot, but you don't need 40k. When is the sixth year? It's going to be in December, the sixth uh, year anniversary. So, uh, yeah, I'm curious to see what they do for it. If there's going to be anything big, celebration-wise. Hopefully, uh, they prove us all wrong, but generally the year celebrations are a bit rubbish. The most exciting thing about December last year was the greater gifting crystals. That's pretty pretty damn spicy. Well, some of the time. <laughs> They're much better than the previous year. I remember opening a lot of six-star champions from the greater gifting crystals last year, man. We spent so much money on them, though. It's mad. I'm trying to like intercept Emma Frost here while I've got the Fury active. Oh, actually, I don't even need the Fury active to trigger armor break. Right, let's go for this. Perfect. Just have your credit card on standby. Easy. BG's run took about 100 uh, revives. How many? How much was that in units? Uh, I'm just trying to think, but there we go. That is great for the uh, <laughs> the first run there. Okay, where's where's the five star awakening gem? Is it? A, I think it's only a single key on this one, right? Is that up here? Oh no, it's over here. It's, oh no, it's two keys. Okay. So yeah, we gotta kill Moon Knight. Um, might as well go for this path as well. And then what else did I want? Probably the platinum pool uh, one for now, and then we'll move on to the uh, the harder difficulty. Although I definitely want the uh, the shards and everything up here some point as well we got to get the five star awakening gem crystal man that's so valuable seen two days ago i got a five star version of quake domino archangel cable and corpus <laughs> uh, you got a corpus bro no way corpus corpus gloove he's the best champion in this entire game man you take that man up to rank five you're laughing son Huge congratulations. That's it. Yeah, about 4k as well. No, fair play. I think, yeah, Brian did it without Aegon as well. So that's a pretty pretty good run without Aegon. But again, I think for most people, it takes about 6,000 uh, to... You know, it all depends on your skill level, luck and patience. Uh, you want to have at least like 6,000, I think, is the bare minimum. Oh, Anki, you got 400,000, 465,000 five-star shards saved up. Oh, mate, you're going to be having a field day when that comes around. Very nice, dude, very nice. Yeah, fingers crossed you can get uh, an Awakened Professor X there. I'm, I'm curious to see what else they're going to chuck in the next featured crystal. It should still be a very, very good crystal. It's got, what is it? Um, it starts with Hitmonkey, right? Hitmonkey, Guardian, Sasquatch, um, Airwalker, Dragon Man, and Professor X. I think are the, the six new additions in there. And they're, they're all pretty good. Even, like, Airwalker's the worst of the batch, and he's not an absolutely terrible character. He's a bit of a disappointment. He could have been a lot better, but... He's not a dud. He's not completely useless. He's got a lot of damage if you play him <laughs> for the entire quest to get ramped up. Play him for the entire quest, win two fights. Those two fights can be a bit tedious, but then he hits like a bit of a truck. Who should you rank for? Torch or Guillotine2099? Probably Torch first. That's who I go for. If you really like Gilly, she's not a bad option. Yo, seen is it worth waiting for the next six star featured? I know this month's characters and next month's will be in there. Oh, I would say it's uh, if you want Apocalypse and Professor X or a chance at them, it's not a bad one to save for. So yeah, I, I forgot who it starts off with the next uh, six star featured. I don't know if it's Airwalker or Dragon Man, but yeah, it should definitely be a very interesting crystal. But. On my main account, um, I still really want 6-star Doctor Doom, and there's still a lot of massive wins in the 6-star basic. So it depends, like, you know, what you've got and what you're after. But I've got, like, everything I need to take 6-star Doctor Doom up to 6-star uh, rank 3 and awaken him. So he's, like, the character I've been desperately chasing. 
So yeah, I'm just going to continue opening basics. By the way, it's the Seven Deadly Sins thing next month. Oh, and Marvel Contest of Champions is just related to the actual Seven Deadly Sins themselves. Um, and not the anime. <laughs> so yeah, they're just objectives. Oh, what sick evade. Your boy still got it. Okay, he's not got it. I just got clapped. My audio is slightly delayed now. I'm just going to reset the um, connection after. Well, there we go. Human Torch is uh, down. Yeah, I think there's a little bit of lag. Just one second. I'm just going to quickly restart my um, capture software. Apologies if Seven Deadly Sins does come up. Just got it auto farming. Uh, <laughs> what is it? Final Boss the Yam. There we go. But I'm just restarting MCOC. And there we go. Oh, dude, we just picked up the five-star awakening gem. Sick. Let's go. We're back. Okay, so that's uh, path number two down. Five-star awakening gem is uh, in the bag. Let's go for the completion here. And we'll go for the platinum pool path as well. And then we'll go on to, uh, what is it, legendary difficulty. 6-2 uh, is this again. It is uh, Magneto Marvel now. Also pulled a six-star Dragon Man. Dude, AP, you've been getting way too lucky on the Cavaliers, dude. It's ridiculous. I'm very jealous of both of those, man. I love Dragon Man. I love Apocalypse. The last three characters have been pretty damn phenomenal. So my Neo still catches me, like, a little bit off guard with his special attacks. <laughs> Got a bit bullied by the champion there. That was, uh, that was pretty decent. What am I going to join for, Loki? <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm too fussed. I'm, I'm really not fussed about, like, uh, joining an Alliance for Alliance, Quest and Alliance War at the moment. I still haven't, uh, like, felt that need to jump back in. Just because, yeah, it's such a, a big, like, life commitment. And the rewards, I'm just not fussed about them, you know? I could, like, buy a couple of offers uh, every single month. But just in the Cavalier Crystal openings, I get more stuff than Alliance War Season. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty fine, dude. I remember how annoying it was to be, like, out of the way. Granted, like, I'm not really out <laughs> anymore just because of, uh, you know, COVID. But I remember being, like, out of the pub um, or at a mate's house or a party. And I'd just be, like, really intoxicated. And people would be, like, PMing me. Being, like, dude, your Alliance Quest Alliance more fights. Gone Link. And it's like, oh, dude. I, I'm not in shape to do it right now. So I enjoy, I enjoy the freedom, man. Because I feel like, um... Yeah, one of the, Alliance Quest Alliance War was one of the things that really caused me to burn out of Marvel Contest of Champions. And I feel like I'm kind of back to a stage now where I'm just really enjoying the game for what it is. Uh, and I really don't want to um, just get involved on in that side. Any news on the Falcon and Gambit buffs? They were my most recent six-star pulls. We've got no news yet. We won't know anything until about a month from now. Uh, unless they decide to do some sort of early beta. So yeah, nothing yet, unfortunately. But hopefully they're going to be really good. Both being your recent six stars, you are hopefully going to be in for some great news. It looks like they've done a really, really good job on Punisher. I think they did a great job on both versions of Magneto. So yeah, they should uh, hopefully be uh, a lot better than they are now, fingers crossed. We pray, my friend. Those lads at the top now have like 10 plus rank threes. Yeah, if they've been way like 10? I don't know. Any, do they actually have 10 at the top? I guess um, if I've been farming. Oh, I guess there are like additional ways. And I haven't brought like a lot of the offers as well. I can actually maybe see how that's possible. Yeah. It's just like six star rank threes don't really do <laughs> that much aside from prestige. They're like a bit of an increase over rank twos. But the stat increase isn't like crazy enough that it's like game changing at least in my opinion like five star rank fives do like everything you need them to in the game 
just six star rank threes have a, a little bit more firepower so yeah I'm, I'm pretty happy with the loader six star rank twos and five star rank fives plus i'm really close to another couple of rank threes anyway champion is wrecking things this is master difficulty so he doesn't really have like much to uh tear through here but this platinum pool matchup should be interesting he's pretty stacked and he starts to draw 25 cards okay yeah i remember this this fight being a bit wild uh doing it on my main account let's have a look though does he start with unstoppable or unblockable okay neither of those he does have mad power gain though bro Okay, now he has unblockable. He's got a bit of power gain left in him. Oh, now he's unstoppable for a bit. Now I'm bleeding for some reason. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Wait, oh, he resisted, yeah, because he's got the Doctor Doom thing, he hasn't he? He's got mad regeneration. It's unblockable again. <laughs> okay, the regeneration shouldn't trigger again though. Hopefully this gets him down and he doesn't resist the final hit. Oh no, he did. It's a bit too, uh, bit too ambitious in my estimations there. Let's go. <laughs> okay, the the champion. He uh, he definitely put in some very solid work there. Yeah, dude, that Wolverine Weapon X on the hardest difficulty is really really stacked as well. Uh, I, I I can't wait for the massive free-to-play crystal opening that we're going to do. I'm very curious to see what we're going to get. I need to figure out if there's like a certain uh, dual class crystal that would be most beneficial for my progression. Like I need a bit of time to just think about uh, what I want to go for. Okay, what do we have here? Cable. Okay. So we don't want to use uh, Mysterious Poison in this matchup. Is that going to be enough? Oh, it's really, really close. I think, actually, no, I can't hold heavy to uh, phase stuff about the, the synergy with Invisible Woman, right? I know I've got another, like, uh, what is it? T4CC fragment path to do, but <laughs> we'll do that in a bit. I'm not buzzing to uh, clear that path. But let's go for legendary difficulty, get some uh, fat stuff here. Have we got three more keys? Dude, that's so good. Let's go. I think we go for a tier four. There, there's lots of tier four stuff I want, especially the gold stacks as well. So yeah, I think we just go all the tier four keys there. See, this is why <laughs> being lazy sometimes pays off. Because like just doing the stuff that I needed to do anyway, man. I've got eleven keys so far. Right, let's go. One more. Thank you. It's perfect. Okay, I uh, I really want to pick up the gold as well. I might do that later, though. Let's go for anything that can add to a uh, massive crystal opening. So let's go for all the shards, boys. The shards, the excitement stuff, the five-star awakening gem crystal. Okay, I'm a bit nervous. A bit nervous if we see that uh, five-star Wolverine Weapon X. Hmm. But where do we want to start, though? That's the big question. 
the biggest thing to go for. I think it's probably the five star awakening gem just down here. Yeah, let's go for that. Right at the end. Got seven keys. And probably a couple more by the time we clear all those paths as well. So that should be good. Let's go right to the end. We also need to do some of the paths. There are like 7,500. There's literally... I love that there are paths that literally have um, all of the shards for 100% uh, uncollected exploration. <laughs> it's really good. Okay. And then we just want to go right here. Open up the gate. Down to Massacre. I think for this, uh, do I need to track on a 20% booster? I think it would be beneficial too, because it's a bit more stacked than uncollected. We've got a lot of paths to do and probably a Wolverine Weapon X to fight. Uh, I don't know, looking at it though, I don't have like um, fully capped on boosters. So yeah, I think, uh, I think we'll leave it for now. Uh, what is up, Joshua? Am I thinking of doing an Axis completion run with Whale Milk 3000? Would be cool for players currently pushing for Thronebreaker title. Dude, I definitely want to, man. Like, Axis completion and the variants 100% are definitely some of the goals of the free-to-play. Like, unless they buff the Cavalier monthly rewards, I'm just not going to do Cavalier on the free-to-play account because they suck. They're so bad. But I'll do the side events though. Side events are banging. Like even next month, there's like five thousand um, six star shards up for grabs in the top level difficulty, as long as it's not too stupidly uh, stacked. But yeah, I'd love to do a uh, a free to play uh, Act Six completion run after all the the nerfs to it. I think that'd be fun. But yeah, thank you very much for the super chats, sir. Hopefully you're doing well today, mate. Oh, that was a cracking intercept. Let's go. Alright, that's got to be enough, right? We've got five Furies. It should be fine. <laughs> yeah, easy, man. Easy. Just got uncollected two days ago and got a six-star long shot. It's my first six-star. Dude, that's crazy for your first six-star. Massive congratulations there. And also, Mr. Hyperion, thank you very much for the 40 rupee dollar super chat there. Uh, when will I complete 6.2 on Whale Milk? Uh, at some point, I need to sort out my roster a little bit first. I don't have a, um, I've probably ranked up counter for Mr. Sinister yet. So, uh, yeah, I need to figure out who I'm going to use for that fight. Oh, gosh, who do I use here? I forgot who's on this one. I think we'll just go in with the champion again. I didn't think it was Wolverine Weapon X on this path. I think it's somebody quite easy, right? Is it like Gambit or Cyclops? Oh, beast. Okay, that's fine. I was just thinking I actually probably need to bring in... Um Sabretooth. So there's already stacked Iceman. I didn't have a counter, right? Ho oh, ho ho. It's a jammy little intercept there. Let's go, beast. I'm ready. Come on, fella. Oh, perfect, mate. I'm 
champion will work for Sinister. Oh, dude, you're overestimating champion. He doesn't have any immunity, bro. He's got fury, but he doesn't have um, uh, poison immunity, unfortunately. Do we just complete two more objectives and get two more keys? <laughs> it looks like it. Oh, that's sick, man. We got 13 keys now so far. That's really, really good. Oh, I just realized I need to change uh, the size of my window screen again. A little blank bar at the top that shouldn't be there. Okay, let's go Hellfire Stance. It's just drilling, mate. Special twos. Get that massive Hellfire damage. Yo, AP, thank you very much, dude. Sorry, I forgot to update uh, your blubberiest whale uh, standing there, sir. Yeah, thank you uh, very much for the $25 total today, man. Oh, perfect, man. Perfect. Best champions for cheesing. <laughs> Deadpool X Force boss. Oh, gosh. I, I think Hyperion worked quite well. Warlock, uh, I think starting on Spider-Man. Guys, let me know in chat. For the variant for Deadpool X-Force boss, who did you use to choose that fight? I think Captain Marvel movie worked pretty decently as well. I think you just need anybody with a, um, a pretty quick heavy attack. Just a quick, rapid heavy attack is what you're after. And then... Yeah, you just keep the opponent in the corner. Void works really, really decently for that fight as well. But yeah, let me know in chat who you use for that encounter. Uh, Kenneth, do I think the Cavalier Daily Card is worth it? Currently only halfway through Act 5, Chapter 3. Only one good five-star Captain America Infinity War. Yeah, I think in your situation, dude, um, the Cavalier Daily Card is probably going to be really, really good for you. I would expect, on average, out of 35 regular Cavalier Crystals... What's the drop rate again? I think you're probably going to get about 5 to 7 5-star champions. Maybe a bit more if you're lucky, or maybe a bit less if you're unlucky. So if your only good 5-star is Captain America Infinity War, it's probably going to do a lot of work for you. It's like $230 worth of Cavalier Crystals at unit value uh, for 65, plus you get 3k 6-star shards and half a million gold. Uh, so it's definitely one of the better offers that they've put up overall. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty decent, man. Pretty decent. Ah, uh, we got Emma Frost here. There are some paths that you just instantly get the stuff, right? I think this... I don't know if this is one of them or not. But yeah, maybe if there are some paths where we can avoid fighting the boss, that'd be good. Does anybody know the rule for, like, what paths you don't need to fight the boss on? Because I know some stuff just instantly gets added to your inventory. <laughs> and again, there's, like, no good 100% reward. So if we can skip out on bosses, that would be uh, ideal. Is it, like, crystals instantly get added to your inventory? Something like that. I don't know if they fixed anything or changed it, though. But this Emma Frost is just melting me. She's getting destroyed. Well, it turns out I'm the best Emma Frost fire in the entire game, man. That was a that's a really nice little take down there. Also, it's only the gold pass. Okay, good. Well, we were planning on taking the gold pass as well at some point. So thank you uh, very much for the heads up there. Okay, right. Uh, so next up, let's go for um, uh, this path up here. It's the really um. Single key, we got Miles, we got Captain America. I think I'm going to bring in um, Sabretooth as well. Let me just have a quick look at my roster. Like, I need somebody. I'm worried if I fight really stacked Iceman as the final boss, like, I don't have a counter. 
So I'm just going to get clapped. I could use Emma Frost. Hmm. I think Sabretooth is probably going to be my best bet, though. And we'll bring in Sabretooth in place of... Uh, I want to keep him Mysterio. I kind of like everybody a bit too much. I think we get rid of She-Hulk for now. Oh, thank you very much, Kenneth. And also, mad love to uh, Core as well. Hopefully, you're doing well today, mate. Nice. Sick. Thank you very much for the, the tips on the, the gold path, though, lads. I really do appreciate it. It's good. To, uh, nice to know that we can just uh, grab the 600,000 gold and bail out. I'm very excited to see the gold quickly go up to uh, a couple of million. Oh, yeah, and we got more keys, haven't we? So many keys. That's brilliant. I think in the, the lower difficulties as well, there are a couple of uh, paths I wanted to uh, pick up stuff for. Okay, Spider-Man here. I think uh, Vage, Vage characters, I used to use the champion. Just because he's very good for three-hit combo. And then just parry. Or on Miles, we can play a little bit cheekier on Miles and try and trigger those evade charges. But we need to get him ramped up first. Okay, nice. We got rid of all the evade charges, so we should just be able to fight him normally. And this being the first champion fight, we don't want to end unless it's with a special three. Sorry, uh, special attack unless it's special three. Oh no, he didn't play into my backdraft there. Unfortunate. Right, where are those fury buffs at? Should be fine, I reckon. Yo, what's up, cool? Thank you very much for the uh, the two dollar super chat, bro. Can I read your previous comment about the champion? Let me have a look, dude. Sorry, I don't see anything in chat. Let me have a quick search down. Not single six star champion showcase video. I really like how he works, but I don't have the resources for a uh, rank five. SIG 200, and what would it take for you to make a champion showcase taking end game content? I actually do have a champion uh, showcase on the channel. Six point C in champion gameplay. Yeah, we do, bro. It's uh, 11 months ago. We did it in uh, Axe X Chapter 2. Let me just give you the link as well in chat. Uh, but yeah, thank you uh, very much for uh, all the donations, dude. Certainly do appreciate it. And there you go. We did it 11 months ago. Got showcase for pretty much every single champion on the channel. I've uploaded so many videos, man. I think it's close to 3,500, 4,000 videos on the channel now. <laughs> it's pretty nuts, man. The archive is massive. But yeah, it is out there, dude. It is out there. Um, Okay, mystery mutant champion. Let's go for the champion now. Hopefully it's not Iceman. Fingers crossed. We got Namor here. Okay. Nimble's always quite fun to fight. I actually really like when he goes Imperius Rex. Then you can just bait out SB2s. And smash into that man. Let's go! But yeah, maybe maybe now that we got the CCP beta, uh, we can't access it for like another week and a bit, but I might uh, take 6-star champion up to rank 3, SIG 200, maybe do a fully boosted <laughs> gameplay video for a bit of fun. I think that could be enjoyable, man. 
Is Silver Surfer still good on Awakened? Yeah, I would say so. He still does a lot on Awakened. Uh, his Awakened ability does a bit for the character, but it's not 100% required. It's just like a nice solid booster to all the damage there. But yeah, if... I wish the champion had like a couple of immunities. If he had like poison immunity. Even poison immunity would just make him uh, playable in a lot more scenarios, you know? It's a pretty staple thing for cosmic characters to have. Would make Dr. Voodoo not so good against him. But it would make uh, the champion a lot better <laughs> to play in a lot of different matchups. Because then you could use him for fights like 6.2 Sinister. That would be good. Then I'd have an option. Or if there was some sort of synergy given in Poison Immunity, could be it as well. Or maybe what they could do for characters like the Champion to prevent him from being an even worse defender is give him like a pre-fight ability that, you know, gives him Poison Immunity or something like that. You know, you activate it at the start of the quest, for the rest of the quest he's immune to Poison and maybe something else, maybe Shocks as well. So it gives him immunities while you're playing the character and doesn't take away uh, counters to that champion. I think that would be a good way to uh, to do it for the champion. Pre-fight ability, the biggest flexor. Becomes immunity to, you know, grants immunity to poison and maybe like 50% duration on all damage over time debuffs. Something like that, I don't know. Yo, what's up, JD? Thank you very much for the $5 super chat. Uh, hey, Cian, hope you're having a great day. Love your content. Can you give my daughter Alexis a shout? Please, it's her first time watching. What's up to Alexis? Thank you very much for watching the live stream today. Hopefully, you're doing well and having a, um, a great Friday. Uh, but yeah, thank you uh, very much to your, yourself and your dad for tuning in today. Certainly do appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, mad love, JD. Thank you very much, sir. And also the Holy Plunger, thank you very much for the $1 super chat. And also Mad Love as well to Harry Bore. Who do I take to rank 5? Captain America Infinity War or Omega Red? Both SIG 200 or Awaken Stark and Aunt Spider-Man? I definitely say it's between the, um, uh, the Captain America and the Omega Red. And that decision probably is based off whether or not you have Suicide Masteries. If you have them, then probably Omega Red. And if you don't have them, then probably Captain America. Oh no! Okay, it's a Magneto. That is not what I wanted to see when playing Mysterio, though. I thought maybe it's going to be... Uh... Actually, we, we are immune to ability accuracy reduction, right? Um, as long as we got our helmet active. Oh, our helmet's not active now because the armor broke us there. So we now have the ability accuracy reduction. I think that's the way it works. Dude, Mysterio has got every single parry of magnetism. This man stays winning. Hopefully my damage bonus on the SB3 doesn't fail and we can successfully avoid um, another special two because good lord, this Magneto is terrifying. He's got, got a bit of chunk to him. Okay. Oh no, damn it. I was too slow, man. Too slow. Well, it, it was a, it was an alright send, man. We got uh, about 80,000 hit points down there. Now we got the champion, though. Easy finish, lads. Easy finish. Need those godly reaction times to come back. Cracked out a bit of a, a jammy intercept there. Oh, we got it! Right. Perfect. There we go. Magneto is uh is down. That's a uh, not bad path there in the end, man. Went down uh, a bit easier than I expected for the size of that lad. But let's smash the uh, the replay button. Like every single final boss, kind of is uh, stat wise equivalent to a Cavalier final boss. Do we re do we have seven keys? Oh, we have six keys, dude. That's mad. <laughs> That's so mad. Oh, this is why I saved it till the end of the month, man. I'm so glad. 
that's crazy. Okay, I'm gonna save those keys for now, but that's that's ridiculous. Hmm. I think we want to go for this stack of shards up here, and then I'm gonna get the gold. But I also want all the rank up materials as well, and the six star shards. But yeah, let's go for that big stack of six star and five star shards next. Yo, Harry, thank you very much for the super chats, man. I certainly do appreciate it. And yeah, best of luck, man. Like Captain America Infinity War, he's going to do a lot for you in, um, uh, what is it, Act 6, Variant 2. Uh, really good for Variant 1 as well. So yeah, he does uh, a lot of work via all sorts of content. Also, depending on, you know, what you're doing in, like, uh, Alliance Quest, he can be quite useful for that. But I love my Captain America, man. He's just so fun for all sorts. Just never really takes any damage if you're playing the character on point. See him making me want to play champion. Champion best character in game, bro. These are these are the facts. Just massive W's. If you're good, any champion <laughs> can be the best champion in game. That's how it works. First five star yesterday was Emma Frost. Dude, that's really good for your first five star champion. She's got uh, tons of utility. Solid evade counter. Yeah, that's uh, that's a massive W there, Chief. Nice work. Lads, I stopped playing when Symbiote Supreme was released. What's going on now? Oh, my God. Lads, fill him in in chat. What do we have? Colossus is now beyond God tier. So is Magneto. Both of those champions are, like, some of the best in game. Hulkbuster's really, really good now. Um, loads more stuff. <laughs> and Kabama Kab did a lot better, dude. This month's side, side event that we're playing right now, Mutant Treasure Island, is the best side event we've ever had. The rewards for it are ridiculous. And, uh, yeah. It's, uh, it's a good event to, like, kickstart you in if you're looking to uh, get back into playing. Because you can get, like, uh, just so many five-star champions from it. And loads of six-star shards as well. And just all sorts of crazy stuff. Oh my god. Oh, that was a nice matchup, bro. We uh we finessed that Black Panther there. But yeah, I've had so many people <laughs> comment on tier list and stuff. Because uh, there are loads of people that may have been like subscribed to the channel and then like quit playing the game, but they, and they come back and look at the tier list like um, a year later. And they're like, Colossus, Magneo, Beyond God tier? Hulk was the solid God tier? What's going on, man? It's uh, times of, uh, they've certainly been changing a bit. Will there be a new progression guide? I need to sort out one of those at some point, yeah. But uh, I'd really like to do an updated one. Hopefully I'll get around to it this month. I need to update my uh, Cavalier guides and uh, rank 5 and Awakening guides first, though. I thought I'd uh, use my free-to-play experience to figure out how we're going to map out the next progression guide. So I need to have some of the content a bit more fresh in mind. Sabertooth is destroying this gambit. Let's go. It's a great match. <laughs> that was a really, really good match. Oh, dude, I'd love to have Sos Sasquatch on the uh, the free to play. Like having Sabertooth at rank four, that would be such an amazing pull. Why did I make Namor God from Beyond God? I talk about it in the uh, the last tier list update, so not this month's one. But the fact is, Namor um, just is not quite beyond God tier potential anymore in comparison to the other mutants like Colossus, Magneto, Domino, Omega Red, uh, Archangel. All very consistently outshine Namor in the majority of matchups. Namor's still a really, really good champion, but I think Solid God tier is a bit more of an appropriate place. 
Because when people are asking me for rank up advice and stuff, and they lay out like Colossus or Namor, it's like always Colossus. So Namor, he takes a back seat to a lot of uh, mutant characters. He's still very good for particular paths and scenarios, and still is like a friggin' truck. But I think there are other mutants that do a little bit more than Namor does. He's certainly by, by no means a bad champion. I just think he's uh, in a very, very competitive class. Like, Mutant's, Mutant's crazy right now, man. Also, Horseman Storm. <laughs> Horseman Storm trashes Namor. Horseman Storm's damage is nuts. She's like top five damage character in game with the Apocalypse uh, Horseman buff. It's not even a joke, boys. It's just the facts. Horseman Storm is, is crazy. Saber 2 fully ramped as Horseman with Sasquatch video. Um, he wouldn't really benefit like that much from the um, the Horseman buff. Because most of his damage is just off the basic attacks and not off the specials. So it's nothing like super crazy. It's a nice buff. We could maybe do it at some point. Like 6 star rank 3. Yeah, I'll, I'll get around to it at some point. But I feel like we did a lot of Saber 2 videos a month and a bit ago. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm not in any, uh, any massive rush uh, immediately. First six star was Nebula, not too sure how to feel. She's she's got her uses, man. She's got her uses. Double immunity. Like there is still a um a group of players that really enjoy playing Nebula. So yeah, it's a bit of personal preference there, but with uh the Proxima synergy, she can get into some nice damage and have some nice burst off the SP2 quite quick. No, dude, I forgot his special attacks. <laughs> Swapped about. <laughs> no. Oh my god, I got cucked so hard. Oh, bro, that was the biggest top 10 cucks of all time. Wow. <laughs> that was so bad. Oh my god. Unbelievable, boys. Unbelievable. Oh my god, I'm glad that one didn't crit. This Magneto is so much more annoying to fight now. <laughs> he just took <laughs> Saber Tooth out in a single hit. Uh... Why? Why do we exist? I need to suffer. That's it. Easy special two to dodge. Honestly, they just made that change to like troll people. It's the only reason they made it. 100%. Oh man, yo, arcade. Let me have a let me have a quick look, mate. Sorry if I missed uh, anything there. Oh, uh, how do I search your name? There we go. Yo, see, and how's it going, bro? Are we gonna see? Is it Whale Milk a Thronebreaker attempt? Is that the last one? Let me fully copy the name. Let's have a look, mate. Uh, yo, scene. How's it going, bro? Are we gonna see Whale Milker attempt to get Throne Breaker anytime soon? Uh, I do want to do it in the next couple of months. Before the end of the year, I think it's my goal to get the Axis completion on the free to play account. Um, uh, but yeah, as uh, in terms of like forming a um a T five CC, I don't think I'm anywhere close to it on the uh, the free to play. I don't think I've got like really any T five CC that I can remember. Um, I think this is all like a bug from my main account because when you switch accounts it shows you've got all the these shards But these are the fragments that I've got on my main account and not on the free-to-play. So yeah, I actually don't know what I got on the free-to-play Just that bug going on there uh, So yeah, I don't know dude. We're gonna go for the completion for sure But I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get the uh, the six star rank three for a while But we'll see what happens Okay, what do we want to go for next? I think we go for the six star shards next day eh? So let's go for this um, uh, easy path here. We got Hawkeye, Proxima Midnight. Don't know who the mystery ambush is actually, so it might not be quite as easy. 
Move into that special one. Was a Kabam Mike move for sure? A hundred percent, bro. He he did it, man. He did it. Swap those around. Just uh, <laughs> just for the giggles. I would imagine, like after they made that change, the amount of people, the amount of like monthly deaths to Magneto was like at an all-time high this last month. Raking in those units, boys. My first six star was Sorcerer Supreme. Nice, she's really, really good. Her, what is it, block damage? Um, regeneration is mad. She pretty much takes like no block damage once you get that healing rune up. And if you can maintain 100% uptime on it, then yeah, her regeneration is crazy. She's really good for the champion boss in that final phase. And also works well, I think, for all the champion bosses, as long as you got Mystic Dispersion. Oh, very nice, man. First six stars, Gladiator Hulk. Not too bad, dude. I really do like Gladiator Hulk. He's very good for Variant 1, Variant 2. Um, got a few uses here and there. Very fun to play as well. I do enjoy him. Just pulled a six star. Yeah, dude, we did a showcase on, uh, what is it, White Magneto uh, a few weeks back. If you want to have a look at it, I think it was a six star rank one as well. But yeah, he's not quite as good as the red version, but I still think he's a pretty good champion. Got some really solid damage output once you get into his rotation. Nice utility as well. So yeah, check him out. Right, what are we on time-wise? I got about another 45 minutes before I need to go out to, uh, <laughs> to dinner with my girlfriend this evening. We can smash out a few more paths, lads. No asshole, no sweat. I think I'll get the, the six star shards and the gold. For gold, we don't need to kill the bosses, apparently. So that's really, really good news. This makes it a bit quicker. Oh, no! Oh, I got comboed into oblivion a bit there. Not fully into oblivion though. I can get some of it back. Need to wait till I get that uh, last fury buff on the champion and then we'll end this fight. Come on. Okay, nice. Oh, perfect, mate. Just awaken five-star juggernaut. Oh, that's a rough time, man. Sorry to hear that, bro. Sorry to hear that. I made an account this month and beat legendary difficulty twice with a rank two five-star wasp and you had to fight Weapon X both times. <laughs> My God, that is mad lad stuff right there. Damn, bro. Yeah, that, that final boss, uh, I, we've been very fortunate that we haven't had to fight him yet. Because I know my Weapon X skills uh, aren't as sharp as maybe they could be. Is Awakening 5-star Sorcerer Supreme worth it? Nah, she don't need to be awakened, dude. It barely does anything when you awaken her. Gives her like a little bit of a booster to her um, stances, but that's about it. At least to the best of my memory. If I remember, she's really good even unawakened. I always love fighting Hawkeye, man. He's the thing about this character. He's just so satisfying to beat up. It's those arrows, man. They're easy to evade. It's consistent. I don't think I've been hit by one in a while. That's a good time. Oh my gosh, we've literally got so many additional keys as well. I think we got two more uh, 1k 6 star shard paths and then we are going to go for the gold and then we're going to go harvest all of the the 5 star shards in the, the slightly lower difficulties. 162k, okay, let's go for, uh, I'm feeling a bit safe too fair. We've already got them wrapped up nicely. Emma Frost, should have gone for the champion. 
Sabertooth actually works quite nicely against Emma as well. As long as we get the um, interval to throw the SB1 right. Breaks around diamond form, double bleed. I forgot how like fun these uh, free to play live streams are for just like sharpening my skills. I always, I always feel like a bit of a sick beast <laughs> once I get into it. <laughs> Let's go. Easy mate, easy. We just walked over that Emma Frost. That was a great time. Okay, um, are we out of keys? We got keys? I think we got a couple more keys. We've got loads more objectives to claim. Uh, so we've got three keys. So let's go for... Dun, 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 dun. Let's go for this middle one here. Kamala Khan. And then who's the second opponent we got to fight? Oh, Hood. Okay, that's fine. No asshole, boys. Looks like a lot of players opened their first six star today. Sucks for me. I missed half the days. Oh, no, dude. That's really unfortunate. Yeah, on the free-to-play account, I missed, like, the entire calendar. I wasn't logging in at all. So, I, yeah, I wish I was at uh, that right now on the free-to-play. Especially the units, man. The units would be really nice to add on to the pile. I already got loads uh, saved up because I, I never really used units outside of energy refills on this free-to-play. Bought the Cavalier pack yesterday and got your first, and your first crystal with six-star red Magneto. Bro, you're laughing, mate. That's ridiculous. Huge congratulations, though. That is, uh, yeah, just like, that's instantly your money's worth right there. So, <laughs> fair play, man. Uh, everyone can get a six star today. Um, I think everybody got their six star today. If you logged in for the full, uh, like, 100 day calendar, you got the, uh, the 5,000 six star shards. I think it's either today or yesterday. I missed uh, a few days on my main account where I was slacking. There were days where I'd spend like all day on the CCP beta and just like forget to lock into the live version of the game. So yeah, I'm like uh, I'm like a week behind on it. Such a scrub. That was a that was a cheeky play. That shouldn't have worked, but it did. I do love Claire's heavy though. It's a very satisfying uh, animation to fire off. Very quick as well. Perfect for some uh, cheeky little counters. <laughs> and that special one does feel pretty good as well. Picked up the game late and missed the good stuff. I wish they just had it as like a calendar that everybody eventually worked toward. That would have been really, really good. So yeah, it's, uh, it's unfortunate for sure. Okay, at least Mew and Treasure Island, you know, that's a pretty good sweetener. Um, give Mysterio here. I don't know who this is going to be. Hopefully, it's not Iceman. And it's going to be Beast. Okay. <laughs> right, let's go for it. I know on my free-to-play account, because I really need ISO to level up characters as well. Because one of the really annoying things is if you stop playing an account for a while, 
You lose all your ISO because it's all in the goddamn stash. <laughs> it's gone after 28 days. <laughs> so yeah, I've already actually got a few uh, four star crystals uh, formed, but I just need all the ISO I can get. So we're going to run the, uh, the low difficulties, pick up some easy four star champions. Right, let's see if we can stun here. Come on, big. There we go. Perfect, mate. Even a garbage six star can help any mid level player progress quite a bit. Incoming six star abomination. Dude, I need to do some videos on abomination with the red guardian synergy, man. Like, uh, I've seen some stuff. It looks pretty damn spicy. I want to take him up to, like, 6-star rank 3 next time uh, Content Creator Beta's up. Do a cheeky little showcase there. That'd be fun. 4-star jewel crystals are good for class ISO. That is a really good point, actually. Yeah. I didn't even think about that when it came to 4-star jewel crystals. But that is actually probably, like, the biggest win of them. That you can like target specific class ISO that you're after. Wow. MK Roy, you just blew my mind there, bro. That's uh yeah, it's something to think about for sure. Anyone remember crystals before shards? Um it's even before my time there, man. It's crazy to think about. I remember when it took you like uh, about three, four months to get one five star champion. That's when I started playing. Used to be so difficult to get a uh, five star champion. Did I say four star? I meant to say five star there. <laughs> but I think at the start of the game, it was literally like that amount of time to get a single four star as well. And now, literally, you start playing the game. If you're doing the right stuff with the monthly events, you can have multiple four stars in your first couple of days of playing. Four star, and like once you enter the game, man, four stars are literally like candy at this point in the game. Drop everywhere, man. There's so many of them. But four stars, in all fairness, can still do a lot of work if it's the right four star champion. It's the right person playing. If you're a beginner man, you get a couple of god tier four stars, you just roll in the content. You can pick next champion to join MCOC. Who am I picking? I'm picking Sam Man, bro. Sam Man, or like uh, Stormbreaker Thor, or like MCU Doctor Strange. <laughs> Or worthy cat. I really like uh who is it? Is it is it Nick Koss? Is that his name? The guy who's been doing all the like champion concepts. He's done so many amazing videos, man. Kabam, they need to hire that dude. He does some crazy good stuff. I feel like with um if he like worked with a art and animations team, like he'd do some wild stuff, man. I think he's got mad talent. But maybe he just enjoys doing it as a hobby. And maybe, uh, <laughs> well, Kabam Art Team Map, they certainly know what they're doing in all fairness. I think they've done a really good job on uh, a lot of their most recent characters. But uh, some of his concepts, mate, and uh, the speed that he brings stuff together is, uh, is pretty awesome. I need to be really careful here that I don't bleed cable, or else I'm going to get a massive degen. And then I di I'm dead. Unless he's like really high health. Pretty high health, pretty high power. So yeah, that's why I'm a bit hesitant to like throw any special attack. I think even the special three, does it have a bleed on? The special one can bleed. I think special two can bleed as well. Gosh. I need to play like a friggin' Saiyan God. Oh no, I'm dead. Wrecked boys. Wrecked. what's the best way to get t5 mystic as i want to take my six star doom to rank three um <laughs> bits of legends 100 bro 
So yeah, all the cash offers that Kabam give you. 100% Act 6, Cavalier difficulty, Abyss of Legends. There's no quick way to get T5CC. It's very gated. Alliance War Seasons as well. Woohoo. block sun let's go oh no i'm getting murked okay come on cable i had so much sauce against the emma frost but now i'm struggling with cable god that's so silly right i'm just i'm gonna send it i'm curious how far we can send it I think if we do a 5 combo, he'll be like just below special 3. Actually, he does have power gain. Oh, no. Oh, damn, I was really cheeky there. I'm dead. Now, scrub playing, boys. Scrub playing. All right, let's finish off with... Uh, Black Widow. I need to make sure I don't bleed him. So I think we just parry, light attack, light attack, light attack. Don't want to poison either. Okay, good. We can incinerate him now. Oh, perfect, mate. Who should be buffed next? I think Moon Knight. Um, who do I want to see buffed? I want to see Doctor Strange buffed. Uh, there's like a massive list of characters, actually, if I um, uh, what is it, brought up the tier list. But yeah, Moon Knight. I, I really don't like Moon Knight's animations in the game, so I'd like to see him have a bit of a bigger revamp where they changed his moveset as well. Um, but yeah, Doctor Strange is probably... One of the top ones on my list. Iron Fist, I'd like to see buff. Thor, Jane Foster. Dormammu would be a sick buff as well. Uh, but yeah, there's quite a few. Green Goblin, I'd love to see a massive buff. Um, okay, what are we going to go for next? I think there was a path up here, right? Um, oh yeah, it's up here toward the right hand side. We've got 1,006 star shards. It's mad boys. We're raking them in today. Yo, what is up, Dennis? Have not played Marvel Contest of Champions in months, but watching you, I decided to dust off my account. You did uncollect it, got a couple of keys, and five-star featured netted Black Widow Deadly Origin. Dude, that's really, really good. Massive congratulations there, sir. Uh, but yeah, the keys just roll in so quickly. I've got like 10 more, <laughs> and I'm not even done with my keys yet. So it's, it's mad, bro. Like, take advantage of the event. Uh, there's loads of five star shards and six star shards up for grabs if you can uh, smash out some of the uh, slightly more challenging stuff as well. So yeah, hopefully you get some uh, good characters, but thank you very much for the super chat. How do I feel about Kabam's final adjustment to Act 6? Does it include removing gates in 6.2? I think it's rubbish. Um, is it like confirm their final one? I don't think they said it was their final one, but I may be incorrect. Um... But yeah, I'd like to see them remove gates and remove the four-star restriction. Both of those changes would be amazing. Uh, but yeah, I, I certainly hope it's not the final round. The changes, a lot of them are quite nice, but I don't think it's far. I, I think they've still got some work to do. Doctor Strange, he does need to be fixed, man. He needs to be uh, changed. To, if he was changed to what he was in 12.0, we were talking about this on Twitter the other day. He'd be fine as a character now. He'd still, like, not be crazy overpowered, but he'd be really, really good. So, yeah, I'd love to see him get uh, restored to a former state of glory. I think that would be fantastic. Okay, let's go save a two fear. Get him ramped up. We haven't fought an Iceman yet. I think I'm overdue an Iceman, so I'm preparing for an Iceman by ramping up Sabertooth. But yeah, they still haven't done, like, too much to remove the horridness of 6.2. 
they've really uh, watered down a lot of the attack values in 6.3 and 6.4, which is really nice to see. But yeah, I, I still think they need to do a bit more for 6.2. <laughs> Especially for the rewards, man. Ugh. At least they've, like, properly toned down that champion fight, though. It's good news. I wish they just removed the um, the Fury and Poison requirement off Mr. Sinister and just change it to a Poison node. Right, we're going to see an Iceman or a Wolverine Weapon X. I don't know how we've dodged both of them so far. I've been quite fortunate, but we'll see what happens. Uh, oh, Julian, I, I saved it. Uh, <laughs> I changed the password a few months back. So I, I know how to log in now on demand. So we got 12 keys. Dude, we got 12 more keys now. I swear we've completed like almost every single objective. Just like going through and doing Mutant Treasure Island. It's just a constant, massive circle of rewards there. I'm loving it, boys. I'm waiting on my 5-star Scarlet Witch. She'd still be the best champion in the game if they not nerfed her. Yeah, dude, Scarlet Witch was a bit too broken, 100%. I, I think the Scarlet Witch nerf in hindsight was a very, very good thing. Because before the Scarlet Witch nerf, I didn't know how to play the game. Because I just relied on Scarlet Witch power draining and infinitely stun locking everybody while she regenerated. So after she got nerfed, then I actually learned how to play the game. And I think the game is more satisfying once you take the time to learn how to play it. So I think her nerf was justified. I think Thor's was as well. Thor was way too OP. Black Widow to a certain extent. Um, but yeah, she, she could have been toned down a little bit less. Because her damage is still Noodleville. Um, but Doctor Strange shouldn't have been changed. Do I buy the Cavalier package? Yes, I did, dude. I'll open all of the uh, the 35 crystals in uh, one big go, probably about a month from now. EMP, uh, the EMP node loan is getting removed on Monday. It's getting replaced with a prey on the week. So that node's uh, no more. So that's good news there. But um, yeah, what else is it? It's the, yeah, it's just the combination of needing fury and uh, poison immunity. But uh, can sometimes be a bit limiting when it comes to characters. Because a lot of characters have poison immunity. But only a fraction of those generate fury by themselves. If you have a top tier cosmic like Medusa or Hyperion or Captain Marvel. Then you're in a pretty good spot. And you've got quite a few like recent cosmic characters that have fury. But then don't have uh, <laughs> poison immunity. Which is uh, unfortunate. Like the champion, for example, Nova. Who else? There's um, I think Airwalker. Airwalker technically has a Fury. Don't know if it counts for the node, but he's not immune to poison either. Silver Surfer as well. I hate Red Skull, bro. I should have just brought in Clairvoyant for this matchup, actually, in hindsight. I'm trying to get intercepts here so I can crack his armor down. Well, we kind of did it. <laughs> there we go. That was nice. Oh. Dude. Oh, Red Skull as well. Another character I'd love to see get like a massive rework or an update. I always forget the Red Skull is actually a playable champion because <laughs> he sucks so much. I need to revisit Red Skull at some point. It's been, it's been a while, man. It's been a while. I haven't got a six-star version, which uh, I, I don't know. I feel like it's something maybe to be <laughs> grateful for. 
Quadruple regen's a massive fury. Definitely back then my team had Scarlet Witch and Doctor Strange in it. Yeah, they all, they also had that synergy which uh, gave um, every character perfect block as well. You took zero block damage. It's nuts, man. It was so broken. Yo, what is up, Nicholas? So glad to see your free-to-play account back at it. Makes the gameplay a little bit more realistic for a lot of us peasants. <laughs> Thank you very much, Nicholas. Uh, but yeah, it feels it feels good to be back, man. It's always nice to have that. Um, uh, what is it? Additional layer of uh, challenge to it. Okay, this is a uh, really annoying. Magneto's back again. He's a ten percent champion boost, uh, and uh, need to avoid that SP one as we learned last time. I'm stuck on that Mordor in 6.2. Don't think the nerf makes it any easier. It's going to help a bit, uh, but he's still going to be a tricky fight to deal with, man. Like, that Mordor boss sucks. I really didn't enjoy it. They should have just, like, removed the node altogether. So, yeah, I hate that. I hate that node, dude. It's such, like, a cheap node that, like, when your characters die, you lose, like, attack and ability accuracy. It's like, ugh. Like, think of some good design. That's just, like, cheap cash grabby design. It's like, revive up. Or your characters are going to hit less hard and their stuff ain't going to work. I just don't know who thought that was going to be a good idea, apart from somebody in like Kabam's marketing team or sales team. Just that, that node's always annoyed me in 6.2, man. I'd just chuck that node straight in the bin. Block in uh, preemptively here to try and bait out um, special twos. So much easier. Let's go full combo there. Straight into SP2. Is that going to push into a special two? Oh, nice. Oh, perfect, mate. Hey, Sabertooth got his revenge, lads. That's uh, <laughs> that's a great time. If you are just tuning in, we got one shot uh, earlier because I forgot the, the special attacks had changed around. He just one-banged me with a special one. And it was, uh, it was a sad time, man. Very sad time. All right, so uh, next up, I think we got all the six-star shards now. So we want the gold next. 600,000 gold. Let's go, boys. And people were saying that for the gold one, as soon as you get it, it just gets added to your gold stash. So you actually don't need to kill the final boss. So you can just bail out. Save a little bit of time. I'm all for it. So let's smash out both of the gold ones and then have a look in... Um Master difficulty. I think we still got like another 7.5k 5 star shards to get in Master. And I think there's even more in um, her the heroic equivalent. Right, I need my Furies to go up here on the champion. I don't know why I'm not parrying this Ultron actually. I should be parrying him. Whenever I see this Ultron, I always think of, like, the um, Act 5 final boss. And his evade works uh, once every 7 seconds. So after he's evaded, you're safe for a uh, minute. Then you can... Uh... So now he hasn't evaded. He's going to insta-evade. And then we can intercept. Armor break. His armor is so damn tanky that I want to try and armor break it when we can. If we can actually get him low and then get five uh, Furies and burst combo him down. Oh, no. It's not. That's not it. It's going to evade real soon. I think we've got enough damage to finish him off just yet. Soon though. There we go, that should be fine. 
Yo, what is up, Spider Man? Thank you very much for the $5 super chat. I'm dreading to start Axis Exploration. Got my first clearance a few weeks back and just can't get motivated. Just take it like one path at a time, man. That's really how you've got to deal with it. And also, speed rank three to my six star Iron Man Infinity War instead of Ghost. Was it a mistake or a, uh, um, a choice there? Because, yeah, man, if it was a mistake, that is a big F right there. But if it was a choice and you want to do something different, fair play, man. It's, it's up to you. Uh, okay, who's this mystery opponent? Who we find next? Okay. I think uh, I want to save... Save the champion for the next fight, because we got class advantage there. We're going with Mysterio in this one. Ty, so hopefully you're doing well. I don't play, but I still have mad love for C, and thank you very much, sir. Hopefully you're doing well, mate. And uh, having an all right year <laughs> in this global pandemic. <laughs> oh. But yeah, nice to see you knocking about on the channel, dude. Hope all is well. Right, cheeky three combo. We got Nightcrawler here. He's a bit of a pain. We can we can sort this lad out though. No worries. Oh damn it! Strange to evade there. Trying to switch his stance if we can. Nightcrawler is so tricky. They fixed that switch trick ages ago. Remember where he just like threw a light attack and um, he just hold block, and it was the the best time. That's the time of our lives. I think I need to like bait out SP2 ideally before I go SP3. I'm just not going to be able to get any value out of his um, burst state. Right. Let's go for it. Massive hits. Now we just drill in and hope that he doesn't evade. Damn it. Don't evade that. Damn it. <laughs> there we go. It's going to be fine, man. It's going to be fine. Oh, Nightcrawler. Always a great matchup, man. Always a very, very fun time. I wish Mysterio had an evade counter for... Um, he does have an evade counter for Spider-Verse heroes. Oh, okay, that's the gold. Yeah, I was going to say, we got the gold already, but it's at the end of the path. And then as soon as we get it, we can just bail out the quest and we don't even need to fight the final boss. So that's uh, perfect. What five or six stars do I want on my free-to-play? I'm not really too sure. Maybe if Punisher's really good after his buff, maybe a Punisher. But I need to I need to figure it out. Have a bit of a look at the um, the roster and what we're trying to tackle next, and figure out like where my uh, my gaps are. Because I've got I had some pretty good luck on the free to play account. I've got uh, Magneto as well after his buff. I got him um, <laughs> when he was really bad like a year ago. But now he's a god. So I want to take Magneto up to uh, rank 4 at some point. Smack through everything. Tice, I'm well. Lost my love for the game, so I quit. Still watch you, though. Keep up the awesome work from one pasty man to another. Thank you very much, dude. It's all good. Fair play, man. I've definitely had a phase of that this year. But they've been doing a lot of stuff right in the last uh, couple of months. Oh, I don't think they've uh, the gold hasn't been added. So, yeah, I've got to complete the quest to get it. Okay, well, that's... Uh... Ugh, it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. No shortcuts anymore, apparently. Who are we going to fight? Emma Frost again. Hello. This is the third Emma Frost. We have had no Iceman or Wolverine Weapon Xs so far. You fight for three Emma Frosts. So for some... Couple of Magneto House of X's. Might need to bring in the champion for this lass. I think once we get to Mysterio's um, burst, though, we should be good. I 
don't know how hard this is going to hit though in all fairness. Because she is in diamond form. They can't break her out of it because we don't have armor break. So yeah, it might mitigate the damage loads. Yeah, it did. But now we can nuke in. Let's go. At least we have mad bonus damage for like two bars of power. Oh no! Okay, I need to chill for a sec just to sort the power thing. Cool, cool. We've still taken a really good uh, den out of us so far on Mysterio. I'm just so fortunate we haven't really been running into a lot of ice mans. <laughs> ice men or mans so far. Come on, Mysterio! Straight in the bin. That's a great little finishing combo. Hey, what's up, Donut Cop? Thank you very much for the uh, the five dollar super chat there. Uh, thanks for all the content. Watching your initial abyss run, I've almost got the collector down. Oh, dude, best of luck, man. Going into the abyss is like such a um, uh, what is it? Butt clenching experience because it's such a deep piece of content to dive into. But yeah, hopefully it's going well, man. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna quickly back out for a second. Um, gonna claim one more T4 key right here. And then, yeah, we've actually got 13 keys. That's madness. Let's go, T4 key. Back to Mutant Treasure Island. <sighs> Today has just worked out so well for a Wombo combo of stuff, man. Been really nice. It's the quickest way to get T4CC. It's probably like joining an active alliance that's smashing out alliance quest. It's the best way to top up on uh, T4CC. So yeah, just look for any active alliance. And you can buy it in the glory store for quite cheap nowadays as well. Oh, do I need two keys? Oh, I do need two keys for this path. Okay. Yeah, let's get another one. If I change screen quickly, it should pop up. There we go. And then I need to plan out the rest of my keys. But I'll probably do some more um, legendary runs at some point as well. But I've only got time for um, one more path in here. A couple more paths in Master before I need to uh, round off today's live stream. But it's been a really, really good stream, man. We've been going for close to three hours now. So we're sent again there. Okay, where do I need to get off again? It's the uh, the Moon Knight Junction. How do you get your love for this game back? You just gotta like find the best way to get your love for this game back is like not take it as a full time job and just enjoy it for what it is a game. I think that's the the biggest way a lot of people fall out out of love with a game. So just do the content you want to do and play the characters you want to play. That would be my biggest uh, piece of advice there. Because if you're constantly grinding, you know, Alliance Quest, Alliance War, to upgrade every single character and be the best player and have all of the stuff, then, yeah, it does get a bit, a bit tiresome after a while if you're constantly doing all of that stuff around the clock and you wake up every single day and... Um, you know, there's just a laundry list of tasks that you need to do. So yeah, just take it at your own pace. All the side events and bonus stuff that comes up. But I think that's what a lot of players have found over the years. Is there's a lot of fun just playing this game very casually. I think especially in 2020, you don't need to be in a super try-hard alliance. You mean somewhere 
very, very casual and relaxed. So you don't even need to be in an alliance at all to get like a good stack of rank up materials to upgrade a certain amount of characters every single month. So yeah, play it your way and uh, enjoy it your way, is my advice. And remember, at the end of the day, it's just a mobile video game and we're all going to be dead in 100 years, so try not to worry too much. Well, hopefully no, we're not going to be dead in 100 years. Get like some robot bodies and, you know, we can just be immortal and watch all the cool anime that comes out in, you know, 20... <laughs> not 20... <laughs> 2300s? Dude, the anime in the 2300s is going to be fire, boys. Some crazy stuff. The waifus? <sighs> Phase 17 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe? It's going to be nuts, boys. What area of the game is Elsa best for? She has her uses here and there. Like, you can use her for, you know, cavalier quests, certain paths and fights in um, Act 6 as well. It's not really, like, one particular area you can just like you know pick and choose uh, based off the matchups that you're up against so yeah you just got to use your wits my dude to figure out where she's uh, gonna do some work for you yeah I think Mutant Treasure Island really did uh, bring back a lot of players this month it's just like you could log in and get uh, that featured five star crystal so easily Like, you just duel, like, one character. You, you log in, you open the game, you duel one character. Because um, there are some of the objectives that you only need to defeat one opponent. And then you can get it. But the amount the amount of rewards that we've got in, like, two and a half hours grinding today is nuts, man. It's actually crazy. We formed, like, a six-star hero crystal. We got, like, two five-star awakening gems. Featured five-star hero crystal. We've got like three in a bit. Five stars to open outside of the five star featured. Just mega. And also, uh, shortly a couple of million gold as well. <laughs> so yeah, it's going, going nice. Am I opening everything this stream? No, I'm going to save up. I'm going to farm everything and then do a massive opening either tomorrow or Sunday, Shadow. So not exactly sure uh, which day yet, but once I've got like a really, really good stack of stuff, but we already have got a pretty nice stack in all fairness. But yeah, also I need to figure out, like, um, for the five-star stuff, what crystal I want to open and which one has, like, the most value for me, but also, like, what characters I want to play on the free-to-play account as well. It's a fair bit to try and decide. What is rotation for Apocalypse? Uh, what is it? Special one, special two, special three? <laughs> uh, unless you can kill with, like, another special one. It's pretty much that, man. It's really, really straightforward. And then you want to refresh all the debuffs. Just keep those refreshed by uh, weaving in heavy attacks as well. But we got plenty of Apocalypse videos on the channel if you uh, uh, would like to check those out. Here you go, Sabertooth here. Here we go, Sabertooth. Yeah, I kind of do want Red Guardian. Like, I'll, I'd like some characters that uh, I don't um, have too much experience with on the main account. Red Guardian would be pretty fun on the free-to-play. Oh, we got the perfect decks. Amazing. Right, I just need to not get clipped by the SB2 now. The amount of times I've died to torches special two is actually nuts. Does anybody else get wrecked by human torches special two? Let me know in chat. Honestly, the amount of times he's caught me out is unbelievable. This is crazy, man. 
but I've, I've, I think I got the time in just about right. It's like when he swoops down, as soon as you see him like touch, touch the bottom, and uh, <laughs> fly towards you, that's when you want to dash back. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe cause there's so much value in the cosmic or tech. There's a lot of good stuff in there, but uh, it's a lot of value in a lot of the crystals. So it's tough, man. All the time, good man, good. Almost always get wrecked by it. I'm glad I'm not the only one. We got another Emma Frost. Okay, light work with the champion though. I love that the uh, the intercepts give uh, armor break. It's always nice for smashing through Emma Frost Diamond form. Oh, and we got him ramped up as well. Let's go. Trying to be a bit cheeky there, man. Didn't quite pay off. We'll go for a special three anyway. This should deal some pretty good damage. I do love the champion special three. It's big flexing. Usually you're on the receiving end of it, so it always feels good when you're like dishing it out. <laughs> Diamond form with her intercept. It didn't work out well, man. She has not been playing into my intercepts this match. Oh, yes. Perfect. Well, that lined up uh, quite nicely there. Right, so Emma Frost is down. We got another 600,000 gold in the bag. So, does that take us up to. Um, what are we on now? Just over 2 million. Oh, dude, that feels great to see on the free-to-play account. Okay, so, um, let's get, uh, how many epic keys do we want? I think we want at least, uh, at least four. So let's claim, uh, actually, we'll probably get five. So, wow, I do need to head off in a little bit as well, lads. I'll literally do the next 15 minutes or so, but... All right now, a little bit longer. I think I'll do one path and then I will go. Our reservation's at six, so I know the missus is going to be uh, <laughs> messaging me in like the next ten minutes. Be like, babe, hurry up. <laughs> Get ready. Uh, babe, I'm in Mutant Treasure Island. Do you know how many five-star shards are on the line? Ah. <laughs> uh. But I think we'll uh, we'll finish off doing some uh, farming uh, maybe tomorrow. Maybe a, a nice casual little live stream. Because we still have a bit to do in all fairness, man. So let's go for epic difficulty. And where, where them shards at, boys? Oh, yeah, there's a six-star shard lane as well. Very nice. Very nice. Chef's kiss. Magical. Are they they're some gold paths as well? Let's have a look. Oh, 300,000. Go on then, mate. Go on. Sign me up. If if you have to, mate. Let's go. Okay, I think we'll, we'll set that path at the back. Path at the back is looking spicy. Yo! Uh, what is up, uh, Captain Bay? Hopefully you're doing well, man. Ooh. What, what are you talking about? I assume you're talking about the boys. I hope, I hope you are. <laughs> I've been loving the boys. If that's what you are referring to. And yeah, best of luck in the uh, the incursion competition. How do the rest of us pasty MCOC players learn how to seduce you? Like see, seduce like you see and oh, seduce like me. Oh, well, the first thing you've got to have is uh, a five star rank for Hulkbuster. And then you need to know how to do seven consecutive heavy attacks after a special two. 
And if you've got the finger work to make that magic happen, for oh. Girls come flocking, mate. Girls come flocking. Hitting you from every single angle. So yeah, you've just got to become a Hulkbuster Gold. It, it couldn't be uh, couldn't be any easier than that. <laughs> I thought you were talking about the boys. I uh, the first thing I did, I woke up literally. It was like half six this morning. <laughs> I, I snuck out of bed and I was just in my studio. And my girlfriend was like, "Hey, why did you get up so early? Was there like a new patch or something?" I was like, "No, it was the <laughs> the uh, what is it?" Um, Semi-final? Semi it's not semi-final, the, the pre-final to the boys. I forgot the word. Um, but yeah, I was just gassed to watch it, man. Always always gets me uh, up and motivated on a Friday. I wasted two keys. I don't think I wasted any keys. Did I? I don't think you can waste keys. I'm, I'm a little bit confused, my dude. <laughs> right, let's go. Does it have to be old buster? Yeah, bro, it has to be old buster. Of course, mate. Got a six star hit monkey. Oh, very nice. Yeah, hit monkey's a great champion, bro. He's really, really good. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Dude, the daily conversations between me and my girlfriend. Oh, I'll, I'll start talking. <laughs> She'll just 100% zone out. Uh, I'll be like, babe, you'll never guess what they announced today. Like, um, what was I saying the other day? I was like, babe, it's unreal. They just dropped the patch notes. They've announced Red Goblin. Also, the introduction of Cosmic Ghost Rider, who's like a herald of Galactus. And Red Goblin is like an infusion of Carnage. And also Green Goblin. But on top of that, they've got these brand new Hades invasions. So you start off with a Limbo quest where you <laughs> collect keys to the underworld. <laughs> and then you go and fight in Mephisto's invasions. But on top of that, they're buffing Punisher 2099. Now... It Previously, his damage has been pretty underwhelming, and his battery consumption has been very, very high for the limited and impractical amount of utility that he has. But with a the revamp, they've actually added a permanent 150% attack increase to punish his um, attack while he's in overdrive. Not to mention, they've increased his battery gain and reduced the amount that he gains <laughs> uh, drains while he's in his overdrive state, which allows him to sustain and add more utility during his overdrive phase. And on top of that, you can now stack his armor breaks off the special two, and the duration has been increased. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, I'll just dump this, all of this on her, and she'll be like, shut up. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, I'll just start waffling on about all this, all this rubbish. Uh, and that's just what happened in Marvel Contest of Champions. You wouldn't believe in Seven Deadly Sins. We got Final Boss DM, and then I'll go off on a whole, <laughs> a whole lot of tangent. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it, man. She uh, she suffers a lot, bless her. <laughs> uh, No cap. I'll tell I'll tell her all the stuff after the video, man, because she's uh, she's not notification squad, man. Never watches my videos, bro. She's never never smashing that like button. <laughs> now she's looking at me like what? <laughs> but no, she's she is amazing, man. She supports me in so many ways. She'll bring me cups of tea, and she brought me sausages the other day. She is, she's the best man, and I'm very, very lucky. But I do, I do need uh, to get ready and <laughs> go out, boys. We're off out for dinner now. Uh, so yeah, thank you all very much for um, 
uh, watching today and all the super chats as well, lads. Certainly do appreciate it. Uh, but if you did enjoy today's live stream, please do smash that like button. That'd be greatly appreciated. Uh, but aside from that, thank you all very much for watching. We'll uh, be back very soon for some more free-to-play streams and videos. Uh, take care, and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day. Now I'll just wait a second for the, the stream to end. But yeah, cheers everybody. Take care.